I thought that Jesse was cooked. What's up, guys? Everyone's doing well. Um, small break between when I start and when I'm starting, like actually turning on the stream because I get into it as soon as I can. But that means an ad will come on like the first few minutes. It, it automatically happens. I can't control it. That's part of why I do the starting soon thing. I also wanted to do this. We're watching a Blackwing player. This is um, this is the same guy that, you know, continuously does solid with blacking you know i mean he he's missed out on top cut barely a couple times so he's he's super close and he'll probably get there you know relatively soon um one kind of one fortunate run or whatever and then he'll be able to make top cut obviously here though his opponent had an insane field as far as pearly goes considering that <laughs> especially considering they got ashed and so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna you know, I thought say this game Jesse is, uh, was is gone. But I do see Roar, I'm a Dinosaur, and Lunacy, both resubbed. Thank you so much. Four and five months uh, each. Appreciate you very much. Yeah, I mean, the issue is what does this Typhon do, right? It's negated, and then you attack, you float three, you die. So you, you, you it's not actually an answer to anything. It's going to concede. Yeah, no, he knows. The street can also attach. Like it, it's it's very very messed up. One Matt Noir. <clears throat> I mean the turn was pretty much done. Like it wasn't one Matt when it started. You don't know why I didn't hold the ash. Um, I wasn't here. I don't know. We just started. We we started a stream three minutes ago. So yeah, we are we are ready for the rest of the day. Unfortunately, you know European time. I could have woken up at like three four in the morning to start this. But I wasn't really down for that, so we'll deal with the fact we're catching the, the latter half of the tournament. You know, we're we're pretty much at the halfway mark, so we get the, the 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 second half, which you know to be fair is the best half. Karibo Overlord, thank you so much, Alec, for the hundred bits. Well, I'm not sure what I even get a, get from that, but maybe y'all know. The Ashes Sleepy Draw, probably a sixth card, right? If that's what happened. But I don't I don't know if that's ever worth it. You, you try rather break the field and then use the ash as like disruption for their follow up. That's probably better. Yeah, yeah, it's almost certainly a top deck, but it's still arguable that you shouldn't be ashing the draw. I mean ashing the, the draw. What well, draw like should never really matter. Also stream for the Italian Open. Yep, I know. That's why we got it in the title. I think black ones are decent. Uh honestly, no, but you know, he's been proving us wrong constantly. I don't think it's anything brilliant either way. Like, I thought that Jesse this is a complete cooked. expert with the deck, and you know he does solidly, but he's still not able to put up you know extremely good performances. Chris P, thanks so much for the sub. Appreciate you. Same with Evil Frights, and you know we're starting Jesse off great today. Cooked. I appreciate all of you for coming in here with this uh, enthusiastic energy. I guess. Isn't the link for the stream? I mean, it's just Twitch. TCGDE and Card EU for Italian and. German. This one's being commentated in German, though, um, in Deutsch. So I think I'm going to focus on this one because there is English commentary for the Italian one. Although we will go between them when they are in between rounds. When is my branded Chimera arc? I think you got the wrong person, Chief. How does the Blackwing deck win games? Um, that feels pretty good, right? Like, it's similar to the Masquerade type of stuff that Branded could do about a year and a half ago, but they also have a little bit more. That's a moon. He's going to play Black Whirlwind, and then, you know, he's going to be solid. Good to go. So this deck just insta-lose if you don't see Black Whirlwind. Uh, this is going to be depressing. Oh! Man, everyone always has the answer, it looks like. 
Did I see PAX Extra Regional? Uh, I have not yet. I know we have other news to freshen up on as well. There was a new card announced last night that was pretty cool that we can have a discussion about. All right, now, now, okay, so that's the one that gets a token, right? So, and then he'll black whirlwind search as well. Is this the guy that beat Josh? I can only assume so. Um, I don't know any other Blackwing players. Like, at this point, when I see Blackwings being played, especially in Europe, let alone Germany, I can almost assume, oh, no, it's this guy. And I don't want to butcher his name. I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Blackwings beat Nibiru. That's a question I can't really answer. My my knowledge of Blackwings is like that of what I say from an idiom and stuff, where I know what the cards do on an individual level, but interactions, combos, and you know how the general whole line comes together is something that I'm not fully uh, in tune with. You know, maybe more so with Manadium, I'm able to do it, but Blackwings, I've put even less time into trying to figure out properly. So, like, I could tell you what most cards do. But not, you know, combos or anything like that. This is this is two hand traps. He's probably feeling confident. I, I hate the hand trap war type shit, though, where you just hand try hand trap them, have a cross out, and, and you only have one. And, uh, it, not not my form of enjoyed Yu-Gi-Oh. And I'm hoping this is not what Fire King Man is going to look like. It, you can pass on a decent board that doesn't play into Nibiru, but it's not able to play through or around Nibiru beyond that. Hmm. Is this the Blackwing player who bubbled at Weiss's Vancouver? Yes, it is. Pretty sure he also bubbled Weiss's Dortmund this year. So two close finishes. He unfortunately wasn't able to close out. What is bubbling? Bubbling is when you reach the last uh, one or two rounds of the YCS. And if you're on the bubble, it means if you win, you get into top cut and you lose your out. Um, and bubbling means you lost on those rounds, so you know, bounced up by the bubble, or you able to pop the bubbling in the top cut. So yeah, I mean, it's unfortunately for him, it means he lost twice. I was gonna take on Phantasma post Phantom Nightmare. Um, I really haven't had a chance to test too much, so I don't have too much knowledge. But it seems, man, I don't love the fact that I really want to open multiple hand traps. If board breakers were better, um, I'd be very inclined to love the card. I'm not sure how I feel about board breakers, though. The Fire King deck seems so resilient to most breakers that it's, like, kind of scary. It also feels like Anti-Spell is going to be a huge, huge card next format. And I, I fucking hate that card. And I hate having to play into it. Is the German national streaming on YouTube? I don't know, but this is Twitch. Sometimes it means you had a record that can top but don't have the breakers. No, that's not what it means. That's people using the term incorrectly. <laughs> hey, Jesse, it's Andrew McDonald. I'm your biggest fan from Hamilton. Mm-hmm. Hello. Can you give me tips on my evil swarm deck? Don't play it. There you go. Uh, one second, guys. I just lost the page. Okay. Phantasma is not amazing even with Princess around because the best decks of using Princess can go through the turn one, not committing until a link until the Princess. Yeah, I mean, you, the issue is you're committing, like, they'll already have the Fire King stuff because the Ponix will have, will have got there, you know, Flame Burge access as well. So they have most of the really good stuff is the problem. The Disc Potter, that's it. 
Um, this is not what I expected. But, I mean, he's not done, so. He has to make the Masquerade Dragon. Which also says once it, once it burns four times, I'm pretty sure it nukes the field. Okay, yeah, here you go. You get a second mass, the second one of these now. Oh, he's going for the towers. One's towers. That's just pearly the bird one's not very good. Zeus's ass? Yeah, I'm not a fan of leaving these on defense mode versus pearly. That's a... Uh, mm. Prosperity. I mean, either way, because of these, this was going to be five. One street and he's cooked. Not necessarily. This still this potter, but only has two real interrupts. Question is, can this even ever get up to seven or to, up to the enough counters? Use the nuke effect. Also, does a nuke all monsters or all cards? That's something I'm not sure about. Where's the street? There are plenty of options here. Evenly cooks? Well, evenly sucks, so. What do you add here? If you <laughs> issue is so you add street, and then assuming you have spell, that really now the issue is now your black cat's also worse because your your black cat's not generating a spell. I don't like ever adding my friend really. I mean, obviously sometimes you have to. I'm not. Oh, did I DC? Now my stream is going. Oh, there you go. It's back. Okay, weird. Yeah, I mean, this, this this means that now anytime they, they're able to go for Black Cat, and you want to go for Black Cat because it's the highest value in these type of spots, then you don't get the extra search meaningfully. Chain Happy Memory? Okay, that's good. The thing is, this isn't enough. They're a Duster. Uh, white cat. So he's, does he have one card left in hand? He had Duster, Happy, My Friend, to draw so far, and Ash. Yeah, so he has one card left. I don't know why he's cutting. You're resolving My Friend, aren't you? Wait, what? Did he not do it on the effect? Do you think it'll ever release an actual event on Jan 10th or, or whenever the new packs are opening? No idea. I think a pearly sprite and pearly sprite this format. Oh. Uh, I'm not big on any of those decks, to be honest. If anything, I'd rather play like just a regular pearly deck. How do you hold SP for Zeus, though, is the thing. SP doesn't negate. You mean Dispotter, right? But you just if you just dispot you can Zeus twice. I'm just so confused what happened to this my friend. Last card was called by. Yeah, that's not helpful. I think with the Earthbound cards coming out of Maze, not great. Hi, Jesse. I wanted to thank you for signing the mat from Prank Kids. 
I mean, why is this baloney? It was a unique opportunity for me and it made me really happy. Well, I'm happy that you appreciated it. Not a problem. Yeah, so now he now he's gonna my friend, but like now he's kind of just boned, right? Like, where do you get uh, you get happy? How do you ever play? Are they going all the way back now? They didn't resolve the cards properly. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know what's happening here. I'm almost wondering should we just go to the other match or the other tournament because this is a uh, scuffed. They're both lagging. What do you mean lagging? Uh, I mean a little bit. Not that much. It's not that bad. And they're rewinding the game, Snate. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I understand why it happened, but I don't know why it took them so long to realize this. I don't know, yeah. Okay, well now why cats gonna resolve? It's a second attempt. Ugh, second chance to do top three here. But now he can play around call by in a way. He can just nothing you really do, but you can dispotter if you need to, but SP. You don't need to do that until the rank up anyways, though. I guess you know they'll have happy. He still got street. I mean, he's pretty not happy. What do you have? Street, call by, and pretty memory. So how do you win this? You have to pretty summon a white cat and then hit off the white cat, right? So that's what you have to do. Hit a good card off white cat. And you still lose to call by, right? Because this powder pop is going to be annoying. I think if he's still in the my friend in his deck and hadn't used it yet, he, he, he could be able to win. But. but, uh, but the weird part is he revealed pretty memory off of prosperity. He could have got pretty memory instead of the my friend and then held the my friend to get off a of black cat. Like, it just didn't make sense. Like, he just burned a powerful once per turn effect for the sake of back thinning? Like, not worth it ever. Alright, streets. His last card's call by. The thing is, here, if you just negate this, or you don't even need to negate this, you just pop it, I mean, like, and then you win with the uh, Dispotter. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you don't need to stop this. This does nothing. Now you, I mean, like, that's kind of the unfair part. You know, we ha you have perfect knowledge now.
What are they still talking about? Get a white cat. I mean, then you lose to the pop for uh, the masquerade, or the tax dragon, or whatever. <clears throat> if he gets happy, it could be decent. But and you still blow up, right? Because it's going to be the fourth effect. This turn is taking five years, and I don't know what's so complicated about it. It's really not that hard. He's just going to go for Zeus. Eve. Is Zeus enough? Is there going to be any follow-up for the Blackwing player? I don't really know how, how the Blackwing deck works in terms of follow-up. He's taken 2,600 damage, though, from Burn already. It should be 26, but he pretty memoried, so. He's at 56. How did that happen? Was there another Burn that I missed? He has Whirlwind? No, no, no. I'm saying if a Zeus happens. He's going for a Zeus here. Punch for 800. Um, the Towers guy is obviously going to live. And this Potter will kill the Zeus. And then SP comes back. No, I mean, he's still fine. His opponent has no follow-up, right? His hand is, is full of garbage. He should not negate it. He should try to pop it. Because it's not going to matter. You'd rather kill it. That's wrong. Why not just kill it? Now you have a 3k body. That's just, like, that, that didn't serve a purpose. <clears throat> you should back the small pearly that he banished SP. Um, I don't think you have to. I'd rather burn it from the deck for good. I don't want him to draw it again. Because it's going to come back. Please bring back the SPs, man. I don't know if they're both like really nervous or what's happening, but they a judge there. They're they are not. Yeah. Don't you need to have a wedge counter steal? How does it have a wedge counter? The wrong counts. Um. Oh. Opponent. Okay. When they activate an effect, we get a wedge counter. I don't. Know, I thought I had to battle. Maybe that's Armor Master that has to do that. <clears throat> All right, going to game three. Let's see how the, the Italian one is going. Rescue Ace Mirror. Huh. Double Die Ball Star. So yeah, you can see that they're lacking in consistency. They have to make it up. Impulse, Econ, Emergency, Imperm. 
these ones always feel so weird to me. Like no airlifter, man. Like a Belster's a neg one. It's rough. Even if you got one tit, it's a neg one right now. Burnacy's not always the best because it's also a neg one. Like all these cards that trade down to eventually get going, like kind of don't always help you. Them, I don't know. They feel fucking weird. Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't. I don't like rescue. It doesn't feel right. Ugh, like, imperm, I feel, just ends them, right? Probably, like. Impulse, okay. You probably ash that, right? Oh, gross. What do you do with this now? I don't, I don't know if I would have chained impulse there. You turn on talents a lot, you turn on... And you're turning on Thrust. I'm not sure if there's in his main deck, but like... He's not... Like, you could have done that later, surely. Mm, okay, you already had it, so that worked out there. Yeah, I didn't think that was necessary at all. I think you very easily could have waited for this Hydrant here, but... And then Impermed, and then also Impulsive it later. I mean, this wasn't needed. I can play against Risk Ace and they activate one to do I ash it? No. Hydrant. Interesting. Not an airlifter. It's making on this not being clearable here. I don't love that because it's very easy at the very least to go preventer. I mean, I, this is not true. He doesn't I mean I have an extender. I mean, he hasn't normal something yet, so you can go airlifter here. <clears throat> airlifter for emergency, and then, you know, turbulence preventer book, SP banish the hydrant, and then you're just, you know, very, very okay. Even though that gives them a free draw. Yeah. Because the draw is not what matters. Oh, he already has an emergency. All right. What's he thinking of tributing this uh, hydrant here? I'm going to airlifter. Well, airlifter for HQ. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how the other game is going as well. They're playing yet. Pearly here. Okay. I want to watch the Pearly versus Blackwing, I think, a lot more. But Blackwing versus rats? Those aren't rats, man. I don't know. Okay, Imperm. Really? That, oh, did he know there's a street? That's all five cards? Or probably not. Probably my friend added one more. When you get Yeep here, then you have a format noir. And then that's it. Get two draws. That's acceptable ish, I guess. Mm okay. You know he has Eep then? Yeah, if he's not he has Eep already, he has to. Okay. Go to two bounces. Hmm. 
You think this is a nine Swiss no top cut, right? Yeah, correct. There's no top cut for uh, regional level tournaments in Yu Gi Oh! They can Blackwing deal with two removal cards. That's going to help a lot, right? That's going to surely be great, Kara. I thought that Jesse was cooked. Out of Rossi, thank you so much for the one gifted. Appreciate you very much. <clears throat> Msetti, what does that get? Any Blackwing? Oh, Radian. I guess. Very car would have been better, but it's fine. Now the question is, did he, did he draw a hand trap to save himself? Because Blackwing can kill pretty effectively. Crow, cross, cross out? Alright. Not great. Which one's that? That one gets the new whirlwind? The bad one. Yeah. I mean, he's burned through a lot of his hands. Yeah, that's not great, right? Okay, that that's pretty good. Resolved. Okay, so now he gets the revive as well, right? That that's very helpful. Uh, okay, what's that? He's sent into grave, right? It doesn't add. Blackwing Assault. You need to revive one. Okay, so then you can Zephyros and then do it again. And then you get to banish from grave to summon. Okay, he, he's, got, he's going now. What does the graveyard effect do? What's back? Makes level six. Yeah. This should be game, right? The pop, All right? So, in these, you can Zephyros as well to keep extending. What does that do? The Blackwing Assault effect, Blackwing Dragon. With the the fucking token or counter. Loss, I lose a 700 attack and burn 700. Okay. Getting close to time as well. I mean, that's also probably just enough as being close to time and you're just going to do a ton of damage. Right, because you're up already by the 500 and you just burn 700 more. Zephyrus activate again and then sink her from the grave to make the, the new Blackwing Assault. Yeah, I know the Blackwing Dragon's just for the combos, but it used the effect there. I'm saying I didn't know what it did. And then we're making Dispotter, or can you do that here? Almost lagging. Chaos Angel. I like this potter better. Because it still get, puts up a body that can kill the thing, but it's just more for him to deal with. Under time constraint. The 
200 plus 34 36 and then blackening salt 28 there's gonna be like 400 but he has the, the burn effect so that's not his game i thought it was 400 short but i mean it doesn't matter he's not gonna be able to play through it Wasn't that rat untargetable because of the field spell? Oh, yes, it, that is very correct. But yeah, he could have just gone to spotter. That's what he should have done. It was summoned this turn. This is summoned off of the effect of street. All right, let's take a look at how our rest case mirror is going. This is always fun. It's five back row. And opponents trying to hopelessly play through it. It feels so hard playing through this shit, man. Effect to revive. Oh, to block his revive? And that's alert, not... He just wants the bonus effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can see here this, this hydrant that he summoned that last turn off the fire engine that SP. It definitely should have just been airlifter, right? And now getting airlifter is kind of just a waste. I mean, it's not a waste, but it could have just been like a preventer or something, and you would have already, you would have not needed it. Sounds like a battle phase, not a good sign. Yep, that one's game. I'm just gonna leave everything up. Like, I don't want people to just concede these games. I don't want to go to time with Rescue Ace. Why just concede, man? I don't know. What, I, what, what, what we got to talk about, guys? What other news do we have? If he doesn't concede, surely he's a way out of this. No. No, nah, people just don't concede all the time. There's so much follow up here. This is going to be searching as well. That's going to reset. Emergency reset. He doesn't have guaranteed follow up either himself. Does the opponent have to massively punt? The issue is if your opponent's nervous and making mistakes, they just take longer as well. Are they taking longer just to kill you? It's even worse. I would absolutely have conceded this game at this point. No cards in hand either. She's not feigning Nibiru. Who cares? Another card gone for no reason. You think the plant's gonna do anything with these being in Europe? Um, nah, cause not UK. Yeah, preventer, which you just searched, so shouldn't have been a surprise. Unicorn in the back row, you're not playing around nibs, sure, same shit. I mean, this gets impermed a bit worse, but it does not matter. 
what's the value of searching up that Valster again? I guess that'd be kind of funny. Please concede. Dude, like you even even if you live this turn, you're gonna play through the same field we played against last turn, but now you have no cards in hand. Just, just, just link, bro. Game. What are your thoughts about the new monster reborn card in OCG? We're gonna talk about that when we have some time between matches. Because then we can have a whole discussion about that card. And if we never get the chance, then tomorrow we'll, we'll find time. I just want to actually have a proper talk about it. Yeah, there you go. I mean, that was. Very obvious game. It, it did not need to play out that well. Rescue Ace Mirror. How, how much can you win going second? I'm not sure. I don't really like this. This matched up that much. It's part of the reason why I'd want to play it. It can be interesting sometimes with Polly and, and Impulse, but I don't know. Because dealing still, I uh, not great. I don't like how it poorly matches up into the fire decks, which are kind of the best. Oh, it was so early for me. I was out last night too. I, I don't know. I was debating canceling, but I did want to do this. Coven existence is also not great for D Link. Uh, yeah, I hadn't considered that because I hadn't really played against D Link. That's how I found out. Except one time where I got absolutely slaughtered. A few of Jama Green, yeah, yeah. The generic out to Borland? Mm, I mean, Borland, you can hold it, but yeah, it's, it's kind of rough. In conjunction with Zeus, it means like every deck should have, have answers to it. Still siding, huh? All right. If they make it, you can't use it, so you can't also can't really hold it. I mean, oh, you can't use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, that's fucking rough. Yeah, no, no, it's actually terrible. What do you think the best deck is currently? I I don't really know what the current meta because the current meta is kind of fake, but. There's um, Fire King, I think, will be the best. Uh, but also, I haven't tested too much, so it's early, early on. What do you think of the established Runic builds? I don't like the Runic cards very much. I think they're just okay. In general. Three Cosmic or two Storm and a Duster are better in this format. Uh, I think Cosmic's a bit better right now. But it depends on, on the circumstances, right? So your deck you're playing and what you're trying to prepare for. They aren't the same thing. Saying just back removal is not, you know, actually that meaningful. I think Unchained is still going to be good this format. Um, with the release of the fire cards, probably not. It's probably okay-ish right now. I don't know. When are the new Goblin cards coming out? It's start of February. That felt like a really long side deck. But I guess it's just ready to go.
uh, man, like, here's the issue. Now you're 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 20 minutes in the, into time, and you played one duel when you could have just conceded in five minutes. Opening up wanted is a great start, assuming you have other stuff. It, before opening up wanted airlifter was so nuts. It's not doing that as often anymore. Another wanted, okay. See if it gets stopped. It's getting, getting resolved. Okay, that's okay. A draw is going to happen here, which can be a bit risky ish, like if you're debating holding imperm. I don't mind holding this either. Holding it to choke the hydrants. Because if you do that, they don't really have good normal summons afterwards. They have to hard draw everything. But if they have emergency, it can be rough, is, is another problem. I mean, there's no Promethean Princess yet, so you can also just hold for Turb. This guy's got the nice deck. Everything's quarter century and collector rare. If he doesn't play a max ready card, we're going to have to uh, point it out now. <laughs> How's our other tournament going? Still between rounds, probably? Yeah. You're still waiting. How long did you say it took him to decide for, for second? Well, I don't know. I wasn't counting. It just felt like a long time. Is that what he added or he had emergency? And either way, this should be very clean combo. So there's no longer the I sold combo, obviously, into Baron. So what do you do here? Do you just make the standard SP shit? Probably right. Does he just want to put a link cleaver on the grave? Sure. So you can Nibiru here and you can chain SP, but also if he has emergency, it's not even that great. Going through. I wonder if Rimandini just has nothing or if he uh, is trying to play with breakers. Which very well could be. With a firewall climb. That's possible. But most people don't go for that. It's a heavy extra deck investment as well. What does this even do? You just prevent her, and then you move back Hydrant. I'm assuming he's doing this in end phase. It would make no sense to do it in main phase. No. Okay. I would have been happy drawing Preventer, though, so getting me out of your deck, I think, is unnecessary. Rota, I mean, that, that, yeah, or whatever. What does it even get? Uh, yeah, oh, Impulse. Sure. With an HQ in his hand, it's kind of rough. There's all these one of cards in your deck. You should draw them going second, and you just, it just makes it so much harder to go through fields. Hydrant Fire Attacker is not a great extender, but Chain SP here on, on Hydrant, I like, I think. Is forced to recommit back to the field to get it going again. You gotta, you gotta conserve your traps. It's in the talents a bit, though. If you change emergency, that's fine. Getting out of the way pretty early is, is actually fine for you.
He has an emergency face down on his own, so the talents wouldn't have been the biggest deal. Yes, yeah, so he's going to change emergency here, but he's fine seeing that used now. Like, that's a very important card, so. I'm going to lose the ability to dodge dodge negation. Uh, he didn't need to do that. The fuck he cares about that? I just focused on the tribute to the fire attack, but the fire attacker was never a valuable card to begin with. That wasn't, that was, that was not wise. So what do you summon here? You summon other hydrants and then tribute the uh, fire attacker. No, you can't use hydrant. It's it's extingu it's extinguished. So you just go for turbulence. Yeah, I mean, this is ass, right? Now you're not even searching a good card. You don't have hydrogen up, so, you, so searching alert rescue is not even that good, but... Sure, you just develop the field a little more. You preventer here, or do you get a fire engine? Who's preventer, right? Yeah. Yeah, Rimandini should just concede. Because what's going to happen is he's going to go first in game three. And um, if they take a while to side, whatever, they say that they keep playing this out and they finish game three. They finish game two. They start game two with about 10 minutes left. He takes about three minutes for his turn. He may not get a get a battle phase of his own, which is a problem. He may give it all to Fizardi here. That's Zabdi. And that's kind of a problem. Yeah, so you want to give yourself multiple turns. You don't want to give your opponent the opening to pressure you or pressure your interruptions by being able to just go battle phase. Because it drastically alters you know, the landscape of uh, of how your deck works and how interactive to uh, disruptions. All right, let's check on the other match in the meantime. The other tournament. Still nothing. I have it going right. It's not paused. Dogwood or bust? No, no, no. We're not at that point yet. They're not that close to time. Is the guy on the left Italian? They're probably both Italian. Based on the names and the fact they're playing in Italy at a regional. Most players are going to be the German or Italian at the uh, respective events. Maybe a couple people will have traveled, but not many. I imagine the people who are traveling are World's Points players, so we're going to see, like, no known names. He looks Dutch. I, I don't know if I share that sentiment. You know the difference between ethnicity and nationality? I mean, yeah, that too, but they're not a Dutch name. No, no, not remotely a Dutch name. He isn't two meters tall, he can't be Dutch. So that Dutch people I know either are tiny or massive. It's crazy. It looks like Yu Gi Oh! Flare. Well, you're a tiny quantal? No, man. Fucking six foot four. <laughs> 
either Raph or Quan. So yeah, the, the two, the spectrum, or the duality of Dutch people. You got the Raphs and you got the Quantals, the massive and the tiny. All right, what does Rimanini got for us? Looks like four spells and a monster, so. That doesn't tell us that much, to be honest. That'd be all the shit spells. It looks like you do the Snake Ice and full spoil again. I think Dive Bellstar or. Rota. Oh, that's a great start. Okay, if he has that plus some full spoil, he should be pretty well set. Assuming he's not a draw here. But we do know if Fazardi is playing. You have to be a citizen to attend a country's regional or nationals. Um, I think they changed the rules for nationals that you have to be from the EU or from Latin America, like wherever that entire continental region is. And then um, you have to be, um, you only enter one. Regionals can be anywhere. But the, we North Americans used to be able to travel to like Europe nationals, and I'm pretty sure now we cannot. Okay, so Snake Eye there, Ash is fine. Mm, I don't like to do shuffling here, so does that mean he has no way to extend past this? Oh, Prosp. Because he has Emergency, but needs another SK's card. But I thought he had like an alert or a rescue at the very least to combo with it. Do you remember from going to German Nats in 2018? Yeah, they changed it though. Uh, you used to be able to. It was changed relatively recently. What if you're American and live in Europe now? If you have a permanent residence, then you should be fine. Um, and they're not going to have a whole a huge fuss about it. Like, if you show up and say, hey, I live here now, and you can prove that you live there, then I, I imagine they'll let you play. Fire attacker. He really just wants anything to trip you off emergency, huh? Yep. And then you get in from there and you just want to cry. Isn't voiceless... Fairies, just wondering. Yeah, it is. Wait, is it actually? I don't know. I think some of them are fairies, but not mean all of them. I think it's a mix. Like the the main ones are fairy. Oh, the, are they silent fork in here still? Yeah, because there, there's dragons and fairies, right? Dragon, dragon, fairy. Like the main one's fairy, and this is fairies. Oh, it's warrior. What? Okay. Is nine Swiss a lot for nationals? How many re uh, rounds are there? So this is not a nationals, keep in mind. This is just a regional um, or Italian Open, which is a glorified. It's just a regional with a bit, bit better prizing. So more players come. We don't get them in America, but is nine a lot? Um, for national, it, it depends on, on where. In a major country like Italy, Germany, France, UK, no. Um, for an Open, it's a normal amount. It's nothing crazy. I, I think in Germany, you usually expect 10, but... Um, but yeah, I mean, nine rounds is okay. It's nothing huge. Have you given an opinion on Silent Force before? Uh, not yet. I'll probably do a video about that before this set comes out. Oh, yeah, so pass here, normal combo. Duster, that's a great start. Oh, interesting. He ended on this over anything else, but I guess it's fine. So curious is in defense mode. It's defense is no, they're all equal defense, right? So it's 23. That's fine, never mind. And so here's the issue with like with dust there. Is there still interrupts left? This isn't that crazy though. I think it's easier now than not ending on Baron. 
But here's what I mean. Like with nine minutes left, there's a reality, like a real possibility where Mandini never gets the battle phase, which is a problem. Garura. Okay. Now you need any like standard piece. Very wow. Oh, well, I mean that's how you do it. Super poly duster. It's a great start. I almost banished the uh Garura, not the uh, No, it's fine. You 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 put them on better have another rescue card for emergency, because if they don't they'd pass here and you're still okay. <clears throat> that's actually crazy you can still lose this game after opening that. He's chaining it. Oh uh, I mean that's Makes sense. But now he's just dead. What does emergency do for you? Are you going to tribute off the uh, turbulence? Does he have anything banished to get off back off preventer? I guess with this going second, he's playing the duel out. What do you mean? He wins here. Why would he not? Rimandini's gonna, you know, sit here. He may as well. You can heat it here and steal. He's just gonna attack. Sure, it's guaranteeing damage. And then you can heat it the hydrant. Get to prevent it that way. And then make SP, bring back the turbulence and banish the preventer is probably what you go for. You need to hold an emergency for whatever reason. Oh, that's just worse, right? Would you just play for time? No, so you, you can't play for time. You're not allowed to just sit there and say, oh, I'm going to burn time for the sake of burning time. That is not allowed. You're not allowed to do that. It's important to know that you cannot be motivated in your decision for the sake of saying, I want to waste time. That is not allowed. But knowing when to concede early so you don't get you know, on the opposing side of that is also important. I see the end of the round. Here we go. Round started up as convenient, man. We just go back and forth and we're good. We're watching Chimera versus Heroes. This German regional is full of rogue. I mean, yesterday was full of rogue as well. Super Poly here again. Very good card. I mean, my problem with Super Poly right now is that uh, it, it, decks are so good at follow-up and, like, defending themselves from dying that I always wonder if it, the, if it's really enough as a breaker. Mud is really good, though, because Mud also stops targeting. Like, if you are, are aiming to kill them, Mud helps probably the easiest way possible. The German Open was like 45 minutes late, so it's convenient. <laughs> yeah, I mean, probably not for them. Not having to deal with that is nice. Yeah, they have full round behind. And they pretty much are, right? Because they just finished round six. Yeah, no top guy. They tell you here.
So we saw Hero see a bit more play last summer, but they kind of fell off a lot since then. You know, no, no new support or whatever, but... Um, Drew was saying it was largely in part due to Unchained being a hard matchup for, her for heroes. Random. Yeah, I'm not sure what position it's in. If you're guarding Chimera, can come down, and Chimera does not target, so uh, it will not care about this Mud Dragon. And then it'll turn the Impom on again, which is very important. It's only popping one here, though, I'm pretty sure. So you pop. It's weird. Like, if you pop the Mud, your Impom's live again, which is nice, but you also kind of want to deny the, the Poly access because that can also be a way to clear their hand out. Uh, and then also extend with uh, Sunriser or Wake Up type cards. Or even DP you can make. I think so does Sword Knight target? If Sword Knight targets, then you'd probably have to go to the mud. Because then you're turning on multiple interrupts. I'm not sure. Let's take a quick look. What's it called? Mirror Sword. Sword Knight, yep. Um, no, it's not target. So not, you don't necessarily have to stick with the uh, popping mud then. It's gonna pop, but okay. I don't hate it, but no, it's worth thinking about the other line as well. He already added Polly. Oh, he did already add Polly. Okay, never mind that. Why would you wait for your opponent to add Polly before doing anything? That that's, it kind of like, gives you less ability to be flexible. Like, what if you drew Droll off Guardian Chimera here? Why wouldn't you do that earlier? That one is kind of a bit perplexed for me. Also, like, if you wanted to play around. Like if they if they wanted to go mass change to make dark lot to like thread in your pop there versus the mud dragon, you know then they wouldn't be able to add poly. So that that was just an inefficient timing of of the the Chimera fusion. Then I didn't know Vion did that. I I, mean, I guess it's possible. What's next for here? Here, what do you do? Do you go? Cross Crusader? Can you do that with two heroes? You can, right? Did you poly the start of the turn? Um, We weren't here, but I think so. You don't think you can cross? Oh, because of the super poly? Hmm. Is super poly even good at heroes then? That's pretty bad. I remember when Super Poly was like the best card in Heroes because there were no generic fusions, so you would just like, but there were Ab Zero and Shining and like Nova Master, and that was super good. But you know, times have changed. Super Poly's purposes are so much different. Why they feature Heroes? Hey, he has he's four one, like he's doing okay. People thought it'd be an interesting match, so I, I get it. Looks like his hand's Ash Fusion Destiny. He's gonna get, he's gonna cycle a bit here with the draw two discard one. I didn't see what he drew, so we'll see, we'll see what he pitches. Yes. If this bell, he's just going to stick here. It was not wise to just summon it, but I'm not sure what he's doing with it. Here I'll live. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, uh, now I'm seeing what happened. This this is not that good of a play, right? Like, he here lives for Stratos when Stratos effect and then Chain Super Poly to fuse with Baphomet. Is that what happened? Or Chimera? That seems very neg. That's what happened. Turn it off Christmas music. This isn't Christmas. This is just one song on the playlist that I like. But I'll skip it for you. And some people get triggered so easily with Christmas music. It's crazy. Skip song. Sure. 
You got some Elton John now. Negate, we're going back. All right, we're going back. The song's even worse. That's my playlist, man. It's old songs. Skipping songs again. I'm right, just going back and forth. And negate. You got to negate again. Two people skipped the song, so. <laughs> We're negating again, or we're going right back to. <laughs> Spamming their points over one song. You need more points. That's a great segue. If you subscribe, you get more points. And if you have Prime, you could send your Prime my way. You know, it is free if you have Amazon. We're skipping the song again. Okay. I didn't know you guys hated this song. It's on Chris's music? All right. You got it. I thought that. Ender115, sub, sub with Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Okay, we're finally playing here. Okay, he makes DPE. Wait, did he make DP with Neos? Can he do that? Oh my god, I can't spell. It's any hero. Neat. Okay. How come the gate doesn't work for ads? <laughs> it would, I'd make it cost like 40,000 channel points at that point, man. Every five sub gets us 10 packs of the Albest. No, no, no. 10 packs. No, no, 10 subs gets you that, because I don't get that much money from the subs, man. And these packs are expensive. And you also have, you, one person has to gift that much, not, not everyone just doing it. Although, I, I can't just do this for free, man. I, I, I just lose money. And I showed you guys on stream yesterday my lifetime spendings in Mastodol trying to get cards for you guys to watch the decks you want. Look at this. Look how much I've spent on Mastodol in my lifetime. Disgusting. This is your job. Uh, I mean, I, selling cards is my biggest job, but I'm trying to make this more. That's in your lifetime? Yeah, that's my lifetime. What happened to the... What did the DPE pop? Or did it not pop anything? It just attacked over the Sword Knight or whatever it summoned. So close to game. It's not enough. How did you and Sam meet at uh, his locals? Um, during summer, my locals didn't really have much. It was something like I was on summer break and I went to his locals. It's a bit farther from me. Um, and it didn't also just didn't have internet and no bathroom. So I didn't really like the locals that much, but. I wanted to play Yu-Gi-Oh when I was like 15, and that's when I met Sam. It did, it, the place burned down, unfortunately, the place next to it, but it had a really nice um, Jamaican bakery next to it. That, like, was alone a good enough reason for me to want to go to the locals. If any of you know Dolly's, you'll, you'll hopefully know what I'm talking about. You probably clap them up. Oh, I was really cocky back then. I just got my first top. When I met Sam, I just got my first top, and he had hit just hit 10,000 subs. So we were both just starting out, and we both like had some success. I was cocky as shit, for sure, and I definitely... I, but like he, he wasn't terrible. He was okay. Your player looks like critical? No, he doesn't. He just has facial hair. So uh, the thing is, is DP is going to do nothing, right? Mirror Sword Knight will check it if it ever is meaningful, but it probably will never be meaningful. So this should be game. Can can you you can push easily with the you just make the bigger Chimera guy and then attack into anything. You know, this, yeah, this should be very very simple. 
is in 500k plus right now. Sam is about, at about 800,000 subs. DP reduces the guys by a million, a million. Yeah, but you can kill the DP, can't you? Like you kill it first and then do everything else. Oh, that'll stop the targeting. The quaddle as well. Hmm. Kill the kaiju, I guess. Oh, uh, they can't kill by battle, right? Interesting. So what are you supposed to do here? Obviously you can guardian chimera, but then you can't kill him. So what's the best solution here? Looks like he's kind of trying to figure that out himself right now. You know, if he has the fusion spells to do both, then uh, good enough. He might be able to just fuse for Chimera and for the you know, the big fusion. Springen's kit. Oh, for Brandon fusion, that's not bad. That's that's an answer, right? Because then that can make Mirror Jade. Oh, why would you? I guess it's just that's all he had to add. Annotations for number of cards in hand, deck extra. It's just more work, right? You have to hire employees to do that. So for smaller events, especially regional, they're not going to you know, have that set up. If I'm AS here, I'm just ready to concede. But... It because right again, like here, it's 20 minutes game one. I think a big, a big skill thing, not even a big skill thing, but a big problem people have is they just don't concede early enough. No reason to prolong games, especially if it, if it has the potential of coming back to bite you in the ass later. I think Artesia, interesting. The Chimera throws, it's, how? What would I pick for this weekend? I haven't really been playing much. I, I was on vacation, right? And then before that, Mass Shittles. So I'd probably just play Comfort Pick, like, Tier Run Chain, probably. Maybe something fun. I don't know. Maybe Ninjas. Probably not Ninjas, but who knows. Like, some of these players may be taking it a lot more seriously, more competitively, because they care about the results. So put more effort into their uh, deck choice. Maybe Trick Stars? No, I will not play Trick Stars. He's, he's doing a lot more work than this guy has to. He doesn't need to be doing this. Sky Strike Orcus, no. Why not kind of world chalice pile? Why, you guys all want me to play your decks. Like, I have my own preferences. Did I make the deck? I did not. Go to the DPE, then you just, yeah, I mean. Okay, there's the concession eventually. Cool. I just burned two minutes, though. Issue with my preferences that none of it is legal in the TCG. Bro, you spent all Mastodal playing Manadium. I don't want to hear it. Because that shit's legal, you could just play that. And clearly that's what you like at this point. Do you still think Unchained is real with one Shavara? I'm not sure. Like, the consistency is definitely hurt, but the power of the combos is still there. And you definitely can do stuff. All right, what's going on here? Are they started yet? Nope, still going. Giving our German friends a chance to catch up. Is Nesh playing? 
Uh, if he is, it'd be the Italian one. He said he signed up, but he also said there was no chance he'd wake up in time. So I, I take that as you will when I talked to him yesterday. Nash woke up in time? He did. Ah. Nash didn't have a deck. Oh, Nash is an idiot. I love him, but that he's he's my idiot, but he's an idiot. Why isn't he streaming then? He's there? I I guess, man. Are they tagging Bologna again? Can't make Caesar with a Shavara in hand anymore? You absolutely can. You just have to play two Shayama. It's not that crazy. It's like literally the exact same combo. Like I'm pretty sure I have it here for one of my videos. I'm showing different things you could do with Unchained. I don't know why I refreshed it. It's it's literally the same thing. You should have two Shyamas is the problem. And you and you're little, you're, like, you're less consistent. But it's the exact it's the exact same combo. Like Neat. You also don't have the Shavar under there, which is kind of annoying. That's like a thing as well, though. Turn off Christmas music. No problems. Let me a second to get back to where I was before so I can have this ready for later. All right. Chris, turning on. Oh, we're turning on Christmas music. Sounds good. We'll leave it right back here like the way it was. We're going to have a jolly old time, my friends. Turning off. Okay. Ellie Bells. It's a good old MJ instead. I hate you guys. <laughs> hey, it costs twice as much to troll with Christmas music. So, you gotta let him. We're turning it back on. Some of you lurkers with the points are, are gonna really assert dominance here. Turn it off. All right. <laughs> you can't negate that. Okay, so what do we miss? Did he get mass change or? Where's Chimera? Is mass change good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Where's the New Year's music? What does that even mean? Let's see the standard just combo here, right? Are they gonna go Dark Angel? Do you Dark Angel versus this deck? You probably do. Yeah, Dark Angel here. They can tribute Dark Angel for for uh for Bathroom Net, which is the the is it no fuck, whatever the level six one is, you can do that. And then they can quaddle that. So it's not you know, can they quaddle that or just sword knight? By the way, they have uh, options to deal with this. Skip song. Yo, Cam, you're a hater. No love for Disney music, huh? Oh, congrats. You got a song from the 50s, so enjoy. I know how you feel about that, Cam. Lots of haters in chat. Skip song. Okay, Max, fine. Ooh, another old song. I love this one. You make me feel so young. 
If you want to torment Jesse, just skip MJ. I mean, they're all my songs. Like, you're going to keep getting songs I like because it's my playlist. <laughs> Negate. Sure. We're going back. Sinatra's the best in the world. He is one of my favorites for sure. I like Michael Jackson more though. You like the negate sound? Oh my god, skip song. You guys are burning your points today. Yeah, Sam, Sam put a lot of effort into the sound clip. I'm happy with it. Often off the wall. Off the wall, wall is the second best album. Oh my god, guys. I'm gonna put Spotify in in my other window so I don't have to keep exiting the stream. I don't know why I did that earlier. Do you have media macros on your keyboard that might make your life easier? I don't know what that means, so no, I do not. Anyways, yeah, so it's gonna be Dark Angel, it's gonna be DPE, and it's gonna be the, the trap that pops cards. I'm just, I'm assuming that's what's happening, because like, I've zoned out, but uh, that's the combo they usually go for. Make the redeems more expensive? No, I think, I think they're fairly priced. I want people to be using them. Favorite contact? Yeah. Isn't Dark Angels kind of not against Chimera? I mean, it's solid, but the thing is, they do have the tribute monster. I, I mean, I would do it because if it was, if it like, if it goes unchecked, which is you know a good bit of the time, it will win the game. Isn't any French house? I don't know what that is. Sunriser, yep. Hero did not receive direct support. It was you Bell stuff, but no. I mean, they got last support was in, in June or July. House is a genre, France is a place. I know, yes, I know, I know that much. I, house music. If it's just house music, then no, I don't want to listen to that. Would Tier be the best deck at full power today? Yes, absolutely. Somebody watching is a favorite MJ song and it's not by him. That song is great. I love it. It's one of my favorites of all time. Absolutely love it. Yeah, there's Wake Up. Cool. She already got the Shadow Mist, so... This is just going to be used to get... Um, Stratos for Dark Angel. Mirror Jade has the best song. Nah, don't you dare call uh, MJ Mirror Jade. You also think that the current power level is pretty low right now. Um, it's definitely lower than it's been in about a year, but it's not crazy low still. Is it the dude's first turn still? Yeah, it is. This deck takes quite a while because it burns through its, it, uh, so many cards. It's actually kind of annoying. So this turn took like seven minutes. He wasn't even playing slow. Like He could have played faster because it's a combo. He should have known exactly what he's doing, but yeah. There's the Dark Angel. Oh, no. He has to read it. Oh, no. Yeah. Poor friend. How did he get Shadow and Field before Wake Up? I'm pretty sure he just hero lives that. Bill Collins better than MJ. Uh, that's just not true. Phil, Phil Collins is fine. I don't hate him. But he's definitely not better than MJ. Not even close. Italian stream resumed. I'm mean, gonna stick with heroes for now. Let's take a look. We can take a look at what they're playing, I guess. While this guy contemplates his life under a uh, Dark Angel. Dark King versus Cash. Interesting. That's also not the best end field, but yes.
Best MJ song from each album. Um, from Off the Wall, I'd say... I don't know, some of the weirder childhood albums, I don't know exactly, but Off the Wall album, I'd probably say Rock... Oh, it's Rock With You for sure. Rock With You is insane. Um, off Thriller, Billie Jean. I just... Classic. Um, off of Bad... It's probably due to Diana. Off of Dangerous, I'd go for Remember the Time. Beat It's great, too. Like, I love Beat It, but I think Billie Jean is my favorite. I, I have the entirety of Thriller on my playlist and Off the Wall. I actually don't like the song Bad. I like the album's good, but I don't like bad song. Earth song's a banger. It's all right. I don't love it. Favorite song of of each Beatles album. I don't even know the Beatles albums. I have a couple of Beatles songs in my playlist, but um, not like a crazy amount. I own any records? No, I don't. Okay, that was a quick concession. Yeah, no, I mean Dark Angel effects. Yep, cool. Oh God! So he passed and he got double shang trigger. That's 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 rough. This is also looking like a one sided game. If I ever play Bandy, I don't know what that is. How many McChickens is too many McChickens in a sitting? Uh, three. You can have two, and you're fine. It's like Wordle, but for music. Oh, Bandle? I would suck at that. I don't listen to so many modern modern uh, songs. Make spices are better. Um, they're not flavorful. All the spicy shit at fast food chains, it's it's not like flavorful spicy. It's just hot. Like I I handle heat like fine, but I don't seek it out. I want flavor. A lot of the time, flavor comes with heat. At like you know these ethnic places like Indian or, or Chinese or whatever. But like how did goddamn Popeyes or McDonald's. They're just spicy for the sake of being spicy. I don't like that. Buffalo sauce I like. I have plenty of hot food. Like I can't like it's not like I'm I'm generic ass white guy. My mama was helping me cook the other day and she uh she she started dicing the jalapenos and she uh didn't know. So she looked up how to do it online. I don't know what she found, but she took out the seeds, and uh, I was sad. <laughs> My food was not hot at all. You have Nando's in Canada? I hate Nando's. It's so bad. Nando's is South African. It's where I'm from. I'm from South Africa, so Nando's is, like, personal to me. I do not like it. Heat's not from seeds. It is. Nando's is so good. Nando's is not good. Y'all have never had good chicken. Are you guys all British? Like, <laughs> ooh, that's rough. You have brand infusion poly here. Okay. What's that? Uh, that's not good. That's aloe. That's fucking masquerade. Ask you to nine minutes, you can do that. British eat fish and chips. Yeah, but they also love their stupid Nando's. Like chicken and golden corral. I've never had that. That's an American brand. I've never tried. People want to shit on America. It has a lot of bad food, but because it has so, so much food, there's a lot of really good food too. So when you know what to go, America is crazy. Golden Corral's mega ass. Well, I've never heard a good review besides this. So, uh, well, apparently, I don't know. But Cane's, yeah, Cane's is solid. I think Chick-fil-A is better, but Cane's is good. Duality of America. It's, it's good. It's, it's smart, though. It's You get so much food that some of it has to be insane. Please tell me, like, Creole chicken. Um, I don't know. That's a specific dish. So I don't know if I've had that, but, like, 
I mean, like Cajun style stuff. Yeah, absolutely. A lot. Of, I I like Caribbean stuff a lot. Uh, Toronto has a huge Caribbean population, Jamaican and and stuff like that. So I have plenty of that type of food. And then I make like a Caribbean curry chicken at home as well. Like compared to the halal and Mediterranean, eh, for me it's very mid. I'll, I'm happy eating it, but it's definitely stuff better than it for, for me. It's gonna go fast here. It's gonna be careful with this masquerade as well, because here just take a lot of actions. Like we, we we saw the whole point of the deck was it cycles through a lot of stuff really fast. So you know it could be a problem. Uh, if you have to cycle through all these cards. Now, obviously, there's time on the clock as well. So, he he may not have another turn after this. This is probably his one shot. He can't just go battle phase clear and hope it's enough. He's already down 3,000. Ugh. You reckon his bet is for my Lightning Storm or Cosmic? Probably Cosmic. I like a Japanese places near you in Toronto. Me, I'm not in the most Asian area. I have some, but not a lot. It's like just Katsuya, which is like the chain. But also not huge on Japanese because most ramen is pork based. So I can't eat it. I do like the toy ramen though, and then I don't like sushi. I don't like raw seafood, but uh, I do like uh, a curry, the, the Japanese curries. But every time I've had it in Toronto, it's not been like the ones I've had in Japan, which were better. I do deck directoring uh, sometimes, but not no time right now. Oh, okay, that's the game. Now he just to kill him in six minutes. I wonder if he was digging for that with a... Uh, you had to be digging that with, with Liquid Soldier, right? Have you had Gyudon? Maybe. I don't know the translation, though. Gyudon is... Uh, Yeah, I've had that. It's okay. I don't love cooked onion. I like raw onion better. You love uh in Colum you live in Columbus, Ohio, and the food scene here has gotten crazy the past few years. Yeah, when you, when a city is big, usually you get better food coming. I don't know. I don't like cooked onion that much. I I mean, I'll eat it. It's fine, but I prefer raw. Like you'd have with a taco, like a the cilantro and onion, or I just mix it up with like ground meat sometimes. Maining, Droplet, Ashley Polly. What's game three? There's no, there's no, like, confirmation that's what he's maining. You guess Nib is going to suck because of lab? Uh, well, Nib is actually okay versus these newer lab decks, but also I wouldn't fully expect uh, lab to be the dominant. I don't expect lab to be super, super popular. Raw onion is a Weiss's winning snack. Okay, dude, I don't just snack on raw onions. It'd be healthier than the things I snack on. And truthfully, I don't snack that much in general. I'm not a snacker, really. I enjoy, like, bigger actual meals. The final got Chipotle in Germany. Frankfurt was hyped, tried it, and was disappointed. Uh, yeah. I don't love Chipotle. It's very okay. It's very overhyped by Americans. So, I don't know if you guys remember during the, uh, the World's Qualifier stream. Or the Duels Dual Cup stream last time. Uh, on the Friday or Saturday or whatever, I was hungry and I ordered Chipotle to eat while I was playing. And I bit it and it was like a bitter chicken. Like, I don't know what's fucking wrong with it. It was just burnt. And I just haven't ordered it since. It was disgusting. It was actually so disgusting. You want food from the taqueria near you? I don't have good Mexican food near me. It actually kind of sucks. So I have to get more when I'm, uh, when I'm out, you know, traveling. Holy either excellent or bad. Well, the last one I had was pitiful, like beyond bad. No, Mexicans live in Canada, confirmed. Uh, there's not that many of them. A lot of them go to America. But there's not zero. Let's get Joey. Banger on right now? I love this song, yeah. Great one. Come to Texas if you want Mexican food. 
The best Mexican food I've had has definitely just been me in Mexico, so that's the place I'd go. Yeah, the stream's lagging quite a bit. Three minutes left. I mean, what's his back row? Masquerade can revive itself. <gasps> no way. Oh my god. That's crazy. Does he have any cards left to play? This other guy, he has two minutes left. It's so depressing. This is why you have to concede earlier, man. Is he going to get punished for, for doing what I said he was doing? Forty four hundred life points left. He has masquerading grave still. He can play, right? He can go like poly, chain, oh no, there's fucking plasma. There's just two minutes on time. I don't know how much he can do. Wait, did he illegally activate it? Oh. That's okay. That I don't like that. Uh that's uh... hey, the hero player should have scooped game one sooner. That's what I was saying. But this guy needs to hurry up as well. He went past it. I just saw him go past it. Oh, he wants to face two tragedy? Vanished, right? Or it's op oh, he's opening. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be time. I wonder if they got an extension for the uh, legal activation, but sometimes they do. It's Aos's full time skipping game one earlier. To a degree, yeah. Yeah, I, I think this was all kind of iffy. Was there no spot where the DPE could have just dealt with the uh with the uh eclipse earlier? New Yo time was so lame so lame. Yeah, but this is also kind of not like Aos should have just conceded earlier. There's some fire can cope on the Italian stream. Yeah, we we saw. We're just gonna, we're not gonna stop watching. We're gonna stop watching this. The game's done. So yeah, catch one game one because he just bricked right. Okay. I don't know why it's still going, but. They're giving him a turn. Maybe I'm not following something. I guess they gave him an extension.
Yeah. All right, so it looks like hero win then, right? So it's probably swinging for like, yeah, that's just game, right? He's tilted too, but he never deserved to win this game anyways, right? Like, it's a game he's not supposed to win. Heroes prevailed. Hero also should have just not been in that spot at all. I understand it sucks, right? Like, like, you know, what if you activate a card by mistake and they gave you an extension because you can't activate it? Like, it's, it's bad for both players. Like, someone's going to be mad either way. So, I don't know. This fucking deck is looking terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> this fucking guy getting 2 0'd. End phase draw 3. He's flipping it up. Why? I see he hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> Everyone just forgets to do Rise Heart. It's so funny. Big Claw Cash. Oh, is this just game? Nice full. You need a little bit more? Uh, if you play Mountain Smasher, it's game. Uh, that's why I like Mountain Smasher for these lethal spots. Ugh. Are there any other exceeds that kill him? I don't think so. You already normal summon bell. You already normal summon bell. All right. Okay. Great. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. It looked like a double brick. Are both matches done? They are. Right, I'm going to go to the watch from real quick, guys. I'll be back in one second. All right, we are back. Okay, so I know there was a new card announced last night. Let's go take a look at the new card, and then we can talk about it. I'll wait for the two streams to come back up. What's the name of the song? Um, the song is Garota da Ipanema, uh, or Girl from Ipanema. But this is like in Portuguese's version, like the original. Not the original. The original is kind of, it's complicated. But, yeah. There's like 20 different versions of the song, so probably more. 
It's one of the most covered songs of all time. Watch Pax deck profile. All right, I want to look at this first though, because this card is cool. So this card is Magic Card Monster Born. I don't, I don't, or Spell Card Monster Born. Weird, weird naming. Uh, so you only have one card. This card's name once per turn and target a monster in either graveyard. Put summon it to your field, but cannot attack or activate its effects this turn. Okay, so this is really cool. This card is nice because it can be used as disruption and extension pretty well. Now, obviously, not being able to attack or activate its effects is a weird one. I almost wish it just negated the effects though, because what I don't like about this is uh, you can revive Floodgate esque cards and you know get away with that. So if you go like Diviner of the Heralds, send Arc Lord Christia, you can revive Christia, and then looking lovely, we have an Arc Lord Christia on the field. So you can use this extension for graveyard effects type cards like Remecha Shavara or Sangin or Phoenix Rhino Warrior. You know that's great, um, and it's an extender for bodies if your deck needs generic link material or something of that sort. So uh, and decks like that, it functions great. Uh, as well, it can dodge graveyard removal. So if your opponent uses stuff like DD Crow, they use Abyssal, you can chain it to revive a card, and that can be great as well um, to dodge those type of abilities. And it can also be used as disruption in the sense that uh, when your opponent is using their graveyard effects, you could steal them, and then those graveyard effects, you know, could be turned off. So uh, it's it's similar esque ish to a DD Crow. This is cyber support, but to, to, to a degree, but like it can be used in anything. I think this card is very cool because it's it's. It's like, it reminds me of Econ almost, in the level of, of incredible versatility this type of card has. It can do a lot, and it's also not just going to be bricky. So this card is sick. Um, you know, sometimes you won't be able to get card monsters in the grave, and it can be kind of bad, but this card is cool. Um, and it will see play to some degree. I don't know. This is not like some staple level thing. It's not the same as the other spell that negates and, and then banishes any, any monster either. The, that card is nuts. This card is good, though. As for D-Link, yeah, pretty much anything that's going to be using the grave, this is good. Anything you can value bodies in. This is going to have other applications as well. And those are the are the best type of extenders. Or sorry, the best of extenders are extenders that go plus and infinite as well. Um, but the next best are extenders that are versatile and can have multiple applications. And that is exactly what this card is. So, super cool. Break, board, revive, brone. Uh, nope, but... Yeah, or sorry, if you want to like, I negate for next turn. So not being able to attack active effect this turn is is neat. So you can like put up a negate and then it comes back. Or like it returns on. But yeah, no, I mean, I just don't like that, that it doesn't negate the effect. So not active effects still apply. I, I just turned, it means like reviving floodgate S cards is going to be a problem with this. Um, I'm sure there are many that I'm not thinking of. Like, you know, statues, Thunder King, you know, those type of cards. I don't, I don't know what distinction they're trying to accomplish with that. Like, why? I don't know why I needed to have this specific line. Like, what are they trying to go for? I'm not sure. Um, curious to see if that, that part will be a problem for the card. It very well could be. Yeah, I don't know. This, this will definitely be good. So you can't use graveyard effects. Uh, I'm pretty sure you still can use graveyard effects because it's not the same card when it goes to the grave. Like, relatively sure. Pretty sure. Also, I want to say, guys, it has been about an hour since our last sub. So I appreciate all of you who are here and supporting the channel. 700 viewers is great. Uh, and if you want me to keep streaming as much as I do, and then when these opens happen for me to come on, hop on, and commentate for you guys, giving you some inputs and, you know, answer questions. If you can send Prime subs my way, even that costs you no money, all the support is very helpful. Show me that it's worth my time to be doing this. Especially because right now in January, you know, the ad revenue is really bad. Uh, it's it's not, you know, it's it's almost insignificant. So I'll take anything, right? I thought that Jesse was cooked. Raw, I'm a dinosaur. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it very much. Working towards the fairy tale snow cosplay. I don't think we'll ever get there. A thousand sub is so much, but it's the crazy goal that I've set, and maybe one day we'll hit it. Easy way to dump Floodgate Monster is branded fusion. I mean, there's a lot. Bergamots, thank you so much for the sub, for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it very much. I thought thank that you. Jesse was cooked. And Alicio97, thank you very much as well. And same with Drew15507. Okay, Jesse thank you. Cooked. Let's go. With Prime as well, the last two of you. Two months in a, to both of you for two months. Let's go. I thought that Jesse was cooked. Brilliant fusion of Vats Eagle. 
Well, there's many ways to do it, right? You can do stuff with, with shooting Riser Dragon, right? You can go shooting I Riser Dragon, send cooked. Barrier Statue. That's 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 a ton of fun. Not, I'm, I'm joking, but I thought that Jesse. There's that. Cooked. There's there's branded fusion. This is general milling. Wait, Josh also watched this. Why did you guys make me watch this after Josh watched it? Do you guys just want me to react to the exact same things as Josh? I'm realizing very weird. Um, anyways. Uh, he wants me to watch the pack profile, so let's look up pack real quick. I thought that Jesse was cooked. Is Fire King Snake Eye looking to be tier zero? It'll be solid tier one. I thought that Jesse was cooked. Okay, let's let's just take a look at this. Let's go. I love those those those. Those piles you, you stew up in the middle of the night. That's my favorite. You want me to cook? I just my new Vel to troll chat. Nah. Muted. Why is it muted for you guys? Oh. It's muted in OBS. Oops. Uh, and Thank you guys. I ended up uh, winning. Um, so I played Rescue Ace Fire King. <laughs> fire, fire, fire. Yeah, which is, you know, the year of the fire. So had to get a head start. Um, and yeah, I thought overall attack, the deck was yes. pretty good. I'll explain it to you as we get to the deck profile, but before we jump into you the hear it now, right? don't forget to uh, go to TXS1.com and use uh, Potato10. Use the code Potato10 at TSX1.com. Here, I'll help you. I'll show you guys what to do. You go to TSX1.com, and then you find his sleeves. Yep, they're back. Look now. Shop now. And does he have the new ones up yet? I don't think he has the new ones up yet. No. Here, you get these sleeves. And then we add to cart. Actually, I don't know. I don't use his website because I just get them from him in person. Apply discount. Potato 10. Save. It's applying, right? Check out. And, uh, why is Potato 10? Yeah, 10% 10 off. There you go. Off 99 cents. Yay, let's go. Let's go do that. I took ten percent off the Supreme Pros. I just leave my entire deck in them. Um, and don't dox great. myself. Uh, I gave a couple yeah, off during the event. A couple, a couple friends as well, and they all really. My address is out there so much from when I'm selling from selling exactly. cards that I don't um, like that much. Also, uh, shout out to uh, Joe for letting me crash at his place. If you have the sound on for the Yu-Gi-Oh matches, no, I've had it muted. Shout out to uh, Cam, Donnie. Shout out to Shrek. Shout out to you know the, the SLC. Johnny Taylor. Yeah, Johnny Taylor. You, you guys all know. You know what I'm saying uh, Ben. Uh, Omar. Omar, um, shout out to all of you guys. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, it was really cool to hang out with all you guys. And then, yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much it. Let's jump right into the deck profile. So, I uh, see what you got. For the rescue engine, you have lifter, uh, two hydrants. Still two, okay. Uh, so I wish I played three, rescues. but couldn't find third CR. You know the vibes, so I played two. <laughs> yeah, it's all pretty, it's all like pretty heavy. Uh, two nice package. Two Probably great light and fire. Then. So far. Um, I played three, one fire engine and then three impulse. Uh, this card was actually like cracked. Um, having this in my deck to like use emergency to summon this was really, really good. Cause um, like it turns emergency into two monsters without committing your normal summon, which is like insane. Um, so I, I really like this card. Uh, so let me see. And then for the fire king engine, I played one Grunix. Um, you don't really want to open it, but if you do, it's like fine. You can pitch off witch. Yeah. Uh, and then I played three Kieran, which is like the best card of the deck. Yeah, this from card's the crazy. Fire King perspective, the reason Fire King it ensures that like all of your uh, Fire King monsters like always resolve their effects. Wait until I see the um, non engine. Oh, is it gonna be a pile? It was like, really nice because I would like purposely summon turbulence without SP, and then actually the effect and no imperfect. I'll chain Kieran, and then they're like, "Yo, what is going on?" Uh, like one of my opponents specifically said, "They're like, I was prepared for Fire Kings, and I was prepared for Rescue Ways, but definitely not both of them." <laughs> 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 and then I played uh, one Barong because. Uh, one Brawling and then one Ponic. So the, let me explain the ratio really quick. Um, the reason why I played um, these six cards was because if I get access to Island or I bridge the Fire King Engine with the Rescue just Engine through Sinful Package, I can summon the Ponix. Ponix would get, then get the Island and then or Sanctuary into Island, and then that will destroy a Fire Monster, um, the, the Ponix usually. That will get access to Kir uh, Garunix. Garunix will then pop the Barong from the deck. And then Barong will search a Kieran in the stamina phase, which makes it so that I have a pop of my opponent's <clears> Um So, like, there was one game I, I played against, like, Pure Cash, who, like, Regeki Dark Hold me, and I, I saw, like, five interrupts after because of Kieran as well. Like, it was just, like, super layered. Like, I have back row, 
interruption groovings in like the graveyard yeah um, you know like the cool. on-field disruptions like in, in hand in hand disruption. what i like about it this type of stuff is like why i was talking about maybe playing snake eye ash and rescue ace i don't like how you want airlifter sometimes in this deck you're really like uh you have a very very clear choke point on hydrant where so much of your follow or your plays start moving around there and then um so being able to do something besides hydrant is very helpful to uh you know just have varied interrupts and you know play through hand traps the german is starting again all right so german is catching up to to uh italy cool let's start the music i guess ben kreuzkamp fire king tg all right so yeah rocket salamander here is a one card level five synchro or link two which is cool so yeah i'm curious what he's doing with this if it's ib or denglong or something else altogether It's like budget ash, snake eye ash. Oh, that just revives them, right? Okay, so this is fully locking him into TGs, I'm pretty sure. So he's not doing Ib or or uh, Denglong. I thought it revives it. It adds back. Does someone salamander? And then where does it go from here? Not this one. That's not the soul charge. Mm. All right. So he already opens uh, sinful spoils. So this is going to get him to Ponix. Here he has the rocket salamander. So he's 5-1 with it right now. Okay. So if he wins the next three rounds, he'll be solidly positioned for a top cut, which is cool. Taylor on Ponix. Okay, so see if there's a Kieran coming down. No, okay. That could hurt, but if he has Ireland Sanctuary, he doesn't have Kieran. He probably would have chained it, then that'd be a, a problem. What does this do? Banish from Grave? To do what? Get the name of the song. This is Cold Heart. Um, this is the uh, remix with Dua Lipa and Elton John. Increase rate is level by one. I assumed it was level modulation, but I don't know what extent. Is that the soul charge? That's the soul charge, surely, right? Yeah, that's the soul charge. Okay. And thrust. Okay, so thrust here. I just imperm right because there's no TG or traps right that I, that I don't know of. At least I don't I don't I don't know of any. That looks pretty big. I wonder if it's just double sleeved or he actually just has a shit ton of cards in there. Prosperity? Oh, he's not even in his deck. That's so ass. Ugh. That doesn't feel great. Let's see a way to bounce it like back to your hand or something and then use it. That'd be fun. They can quick synchro, right? So you don't mind passing like this. Yeah, so no islands. Okay, I think that, that definitely hurt him a lot. Not having access to the... Uh, uh, the island stuff here. So now, I don't know how much follow-up he's going to have. He's going to kind of just be relying on the TG cards here. Well, did he get by Thrust? He got Prosperity. Bones here on Centurion. Notoriously not great at playing through Interruptions, so let's see how it does. So it does it in Okay, it looks like he's really worried about Follow up. Maybe it's two imprints face down or something along those lines. And then a synchro summon here. Leave up the salamander. So they're probably is gonna get killed, otherwise that'd be follow up. Baron. Okay, that makes sense. So none of the TG boss monsters. So 
So he probably has like another decent back row and then Emperor Emblem here. So uh, interesting how I mean, yes, chaining it's a uh, the quicksync wouldn't matter because you just negate the guy in the, in the in the spell trap card zone with Baron. You put in the other one there, and then yeah, I mean you get Baron here. What the fuck do you do? The issue with this deck, man. Prosperity is pretty good. Like he has the one extender left, right? He got he can go for the field spell. Get Emmet. Is that one a tuner? Which one's a tuner? The other one or this one? Ugh. Fenrir, there's the field spell. That one is the tuner. Okay, so he still has a legacy play. He hit the field spell. Uh, but like, what I don't like about this deck is you had to, you have to have both of your extenders to play through this. Like, and these weren't. It wasn't even a good field. Like, this is just not, like, I thought I just realized that was just lucky as well, just that you can have, be in this position. I don't know, man. What do you discard there? I don't know what that is. Oh, Legatia, yeah, he prossed, right? You can't Legatia. So what do you do here? You go, what do level 12s exist? OTG's 5-1. Five 5-1's one. Five not that crazy, but also, I mean, solid player with uh, and the Fire King card still on there as well. Like, you shouldn't do anything, which is kind of rough. I don't know, man. This is poopy. Like, <laughs> this is not good, even. I'll lose the Baron, but that means that Salamander sticks. Uh, and you have no cards left here, so you just pass. He has to put one back. Imprint probably just holds it for the next synchro, right? Like you don't, you don't need to imprint anything here. Let's see here if he's played multiple targets. I mean, if it's a small uh, T TG engine, there's a chance there's no more TGs for this Salamander to summon. If he's leading like this, he may not have one. It depends if he wants to uh, hold it for later or he wants to deck then. Maybe he wants to see more TG cards. But like, there's also a, a very real chance it's like, a, it's like a very mini TG engine and then it's just kind of accomplishing nothing. It's just the body. Oh, I don't know I'm so tired. I mean, I do know I'm tired. I didn't want to sleep much. I'm probably going to have a nice nap after this. Yeah, so for those that don't know, the Salamander here is pretty much Lone Fire Blossom for the, the TG deck. A bunch of searches here. I mean, there's plays now, those options are open there so now if we're assuming there's abilities to stop this uh this push so you probably have imperm here it should be fine now so what is this going to add it's going to add ponix probably
Crimson Dragon here, yeah, and then probably it's confirmed. Or is it a cost to bounce? But what it doesn't matter either way. Good follow up, sure. I don't know if that's the best one to get for follow up, but it's fine. Yeah, so that, this makes sense for Ben. I like how he played this. He had two imperms already. Setting the third imperm off thrust wasn't really helpful. So he goes for follow up, which is correct. I'm happy with how he did that. So that's why we had the read on the double imperm, right? Like, if he played imperm, so the, the reason he would be thrusting for Prosp is either he already has two imperms pretty much, or that he uh, really needs follow up, or that he doesn't play imperm. So when we saw the one imperm, it should have been pretty apparent what was happening. Jet Synchron, that's interesting. Okay. So you put that in grave with the Fire King stuff, I, I assume? You just change for turn. That should just be game. I think either way, though, the Flambridge here would have been nice or insane. You just go, uh, you, you would have been able to Ash send the, the Salamander and go for Oak, bring back Onyx, add Sanctuary that way, and then Oak send the Sanctuary plus itself for Flambridge. Assuming, assuming he plays these cards, uh, in which case, you know, the game would have turned over very, very fast either way. So, yeah. Grunix here. I mean, this can now send Kieran and then revive Ponix and pop. Um, is there anything else to send you besides? It's definitely just Kieran, right? Nothing else matters. Arvada, maybe? No. Would Arvada even be in this deck? Um, I think based on what we're seeing right now, I, I think there's a strong reason to assume that it's a very small TG engine, which nothing wrong with that. Just um, so I mean, it's going to be important for Jer Jeremy to know that this isn't going to be like a mole cricket level threat. This the salamander. It's not going to be coming back every turn as a problem. It's one and done. The good player essentially use these open regionals to largely test untested strats, uh, strats a lot of rogue and in comfort it seems. Uh, so it's a mix, right? Sometimes it's just having fun with different decks. Um, so to be creative, sometimes it's a test and, but for players, you need world's points, which is a real thing. Uh, oftentimes you have to take it hyperly competitive. Uh, at least that was the approach that I took. Obviously every player is different. So they may feel differently, but that's how, you know, I approached it. Like in regionals, I played Ojamas last time because I didn't need the world's points. But, like, there's different levels of having fun, right? So this looks like a deck that's having fun, but it's not terrible either. So he's kind of enjoying himself and having fun and, you know, just chilling. When is UDS Invitational? That is in about a month's time. Like a month and a week. Did I run a copy of green? I kind of have to. What do the TG offer to the strat? So the biggest thing is it gives you multiple fire level 1 targets. So now you have Ponix, you don't have to... Uh, you know, simple spoils for nothing useful. And what it does when you get it is it lets you just synchro summon. So the Salamander by itself has level 5 synchro. And then with the other TG cards, it looks like he gets to synchro up to a level 10. So pretty much he's going to get to I thought that Jesse was cooked. So he's going to be able to get to a Baron. Uh, and then, then be able to use Fire King plays, which is neat. Shaira, thank you so much for the resub. Five months, I appreciate you. Let's go. Uh, does he Calamity Lock? I haven't seen that one. The next Duelist Cup, when is that? Um, I'm not sure. That one I'll probably take a little bit lighter, so I won't... I'll stream it, and I'll play it, unless it conflicts with the YCS, but I'll, I'll, I will compete, and I'll stream. But I will probably not do 72 hours. I'll do, like, 14 hours a day, which is still a fucking ton. Uh, and then I will not, like, try hard with player. I'll probably just have my real name, and I'll play more fun decks. Only decks that I actually enjoy. I don't have a Discord yet. I do want to at some point, but I have other stuff that is more important to me to work on right now. But we'll get there one day. Oh, he didn't have a game? Because that's buffed, right? There's no way this, he didn't have a game.
Really? I, I, I would have, he's so close to killing him. I, I find that hard to believe. Prosp. Prosp is right. Yeah, okay, he did Prosp. Okay, so it didn't matter, I guess. So now you just close it out. You can, like, SP the back row. And then... What else do you do here? Solid level back to Kieran is important, actually. Link 3. What Link 3 do you make? There's no Promethean Princess yet. Hmm. That could have just been SP, right? I don't know why they needed to do that. He still can SP. He can SP the field spell. But he has another field spell in hand. I guess it's a card from the discard now. You make Apo here, like Apo SP. I want to go Solid Wolf really badly. I want to I want to have Kieran on hand. No, Solid Wolf SP and Blue Whale would seem just better with the Kieran, right? Because then it revives the SP as well. Still making that okay. No, Sunlight Wolf seems weird. I don't, I don't like that. That's just not in his deck. No SP. And then why are you making IP here? Jesse is a boomer. Wait, in terms to what? Is it making Apo or SP? SP. No, there's SP here. Like when you going IP, it was, it was it seemed likely that he had it, but I'm confused what happened here. He discarded and got SP'd, but hmm. Leave the fire here because it floats. That makes sense, and obviously it then could island next turn. So where does this go? Isn't it crazy how long these games are going? I don't think so. I think it's normal for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, a lot of times people con don't concede early enough, but I don't think this is the case that this is a grind game. I wonder if Bandage doesn't play Sunlight Wolf, because that one it seems so crazy to me. Like, that card's so good. Thirty-seven minutes, no joke. Oh, it's not that long. Crash set pass. So that's going to be able to revive Legacia, right? That trap, like its graveyard effects. Can use both effects the same turn? That's the question. I don't know. Um, at least still not back. Italy running slow. Uh, okay. So I wanted to check the Centurion card. I uh, so tried to face the monster, banish it, and then you miss the your grave. You only use one effect per turn. Okay, so he's not going to be able to use both effects the same turn, but that's okay. Uh, what's happening? He's using the search effect, or do you just top deck something? You top decked? Oh, okay. You got Valored. That's fine. Now there's two monsters in fields. So you can't just banish it to turn it off. And Red Uponyx is probably the best. Yeah. What did you add Kieran? That's kind of weird because you... Uh, yeah, it's probably... Oh, Ava he does play... Oh, he does play Avada. Okay. Then you have to Garunix. Man, it's crazy how much Princess makes this deck better. It's gonna banish it. I don't know if you needed to do that, because if he's popping it, then you can use the graveyard effect this turn. This is because it's not banished permanently, like this doesn't really matter. I guess you can't steal the uh you can't use Oak's graveyard effect uh, other effect here. There's no princess to really punish you. 
Like you just summon the Arvada here and then like a attack. And then you keep up the the uh the Arvada as a way to like, negate whatever he summons with the trap. And then also no, Grunix will be on field though, which is kind of annoying. Onyx. Okay, this is interesting. Search. Is there a uh, Fire King Circle on the deck? Because that'd be really good. That is not helpful. There's a Jet Synchron in Grave, though. Normal Arvada. Oh, did he use Sinful Spoils to get Oak out? Okay, no, he didn't draw Oak. He used Sinful Spoils. And then you have Jet Synchron. Still, no. Is there really no way to kill him? What's his extra deck? Hmm. He doesn't have that much left in his extra deck. He doesn't use that many cards. He should have a couple options left. Like, I just surprised not see, like, Hida. Does it not come back? When, when does it come back? When does this Grunings come back? Comes back. Yeah, it comes back in the standby phase. I'm rank one for Zeus. Here's not. Okay, Fenrir is pretty strong. I think the Centurion player is actually in a good spot here, right? Like, Ben's going to run out of stuff. His extra deck is looking lacking. Yeah, so that's gonna, you know, be an interrupt. I mean, if Ben lives, he has he has plays, but you may get just uh, calamities here again. Ooh, what? Hold on, why did... I'm very confused. Why did he kill the Garudix? If he just banished it... If he just killed the Arvada and then banished the Garudix game was, like, really rough. And now... now now he just revives Grudex, then Kieran. Yeah, you just negate this. And then then you then you then you pop the uh the legation, right? Did you crow off of the Yo? Did you crow off Legatia? Okay, man. It still doesn't make the play right, but crazy. And he gets to put one spell trap card zone again, And then it dies. Oh, it dies that turn. Okay, so he gets to pop the uh, the back row. Right, so that way you're not going to get destroyed by a... Uh... Okay, I forgot that that'll happen at the very least. Okay, it's not just over. In fact, it's, uh, he's actually just fine. You just blow up the... Uh... 
the Arvada here. You revive that and go. The Grunix is gone. Never mind. Doesn't work then, but hmm. Okay, this Fenrir is not really that big of a problem. You have to force that out, but then the Sinful Spoils can search and return the Flame Burge and search Ash, and that's just the game. I guess this works as well. He has Sinful Spoil in his grave, right? I mean, this is... this is Oh, this is a game, right? Because it revives the Kirin. Oh, this is a game. It doesn't matter. Okay. This is the easy game. It doesn't need to combo, I guess. Because you just crash, you revive the Kirin, you crash the Kirin with the Fenrir, and then you revive the Arvada again, and you pop the... Uh, uh, Legatia. All right, now this is, this is, this is clean enough. Fire King's grind game is surprisingly good. I feel like his extra, like Ben's extra deck could be slightly better. He'd be so much more well positioned if he just had that wolf in his deck. But yeah, with uh, 28 minutes already gone, will we see three games? I'm not sure. Runix triggering is like a death sentence. I don't think that's necessarily true, but it definitely swings a lot. It, it swings significantly more when Arvada's in play as well, because they just cycle so well, the Arvada and the Kirin, but the popping and the gaining, it, it's really, really good. Ellie's also back. I'm enjoying this match, so I'm probably going to stay here. We'll take a quick look at what they're playing. It's been interesting. That was a very good back and forth. And uh, Ben's got a unique deck, so I'm happy sticking with this. Morning, Zed. <laughs> Where are you watching it on Twitch? TV slash Jesse Cotton Yu Gi Oh! Exactly. Uh, it, it, if you actually want the channel though, it's just Yu Gi Oh! TCG DE. It's, uh, it's being commentated in, in German. The Italian one is being commentated in English, I'm pretty sure, but this is in Deutsch. So, you don't speak Deutsch? Stick around, man, even if you're not enjoying this. Pearly Manadium is bad. I'm assuming that's two different decks, because otherwise it'd be kind of wild. Is that what it is? Yeah. Manadian going first. Very interesting. I want to watch this. This is, this is cool. I like this game. Horus cards. Okay, interesting. So Judgment, Horus. Okay. Uh, is that two Horus cards in hand, or is that a, a, a Centurion card? I saw four out of the five. Pros plus Hor plus uh, Imsed. He's actually kind of rough. Okay, he's... He drew, that was his last card. Otherwise, it was looking pretty bad. Um, because you can't use him SETI plus the, uh, you know, the pros in the same turn. So he just used horse. Yeah, you go to the pot. Okay, that's cool. Okay, he's going to be fine here. And then he's going to get a draw. Oh, he's not going to show us what he got. Very right, cool. So he can make Legatia at the very, very least here pretty easily. Oh, is that the tuner? That is the tuner, right? Yeah, that's the tuner. I can never remember which level 4 is the tuner. You're Deutsch, but you're here for the better commentary? Appreciate it. Thank you. Probably don't cycle the card with King Stark. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no, exactly. Your backer space is kind of limited here, right? Because we, we already saw that he had two traps. I wonder if uh, if you draw a third trap, it's kind of annoying. Weird, weird how actually your backer fills up relatively fast between the King Stark and the, the Centurion cards. Why the Stark and Centurion? It's to give you level eight bodies, um, or you can make Zombie Vampire to try and look for your starter if you missed. 
One more Vada. Okay, so that should deal with the Centurions to an extent, although we know obviously that there's Imperm face down, so that's not actually going to help. But it's also rough because that's committing a normal summon to a card that's a par. So, I, ooh, ooh, that's rough. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we predicted to happen. This game is over now. There's going to be a uh, Calamity coming. And normal summons already committed. The island's out of use. Yeah, I just want to concede. And that's part of the problem with Fire King here that I'm, I'm noticing. And like, oh, you can't Calamity? There's no Field Spell. I didn't see the Field Spell. You're right, there's no Field Spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still can't do anything. That's interesting. Okay. But I mean, so that, that kind of highlights the problem I have with Fire King in some, uh, in some aspects. Because it feels like until you get the cards in the grave and start rolling... You actually are kind of choked around your normal summon your island a bit. You don't have to, like, you can pull off some crazy pushes, but it's not always that case. There are so many times where you get choked relatively early on and you just kind of have nothing. And this is a very, very clear case. That's not even a brick because those hands aren't bricks. Like, if you go un first uninterrupted or even one hand trap sometimes, you'll just be fine. You'll be very okay, but playing in the field is not enough and that's very important. I forgot. I know you need the field spell to make Calamity. It's just, it just blank. They never, never had a chance to search it. I forgot for a second. The only extension Fire King has is Sinful. I'm looking mostly from the perspective of the next format. So you'll also have um, a Bonfire as well. But yeah. When the bolt does get rolling, the deck is very good. But that's not always the uh, indicator for what's strong, right? But that, that type of... Um, you know, pattern that I'm noticing as well. It makes me think hand traps might be better next format. Although as much as I love board breakers to be good, it may be back to the same all hand traps being the pace of play that's expected. Imperm, Double King, Sark, Emblema, and I didn't see the fifth card again. Did Ben go first game one? He did go first, yes. Okay, it's interesting to see here. So we'll see here if he wants to imperm this or imperm something else. We did see Snake Eye cards and all that, so it could be kind of risky to imperm the Dibal Star. But you're also denying a draw potentially. Is there any. Play the Bujin solo mode. Is there any goo at the middle five for X Seed with Kagatsuchi? Uh, you can play the Lunalite -Luna cards to make it. I'll play the Lunalite tier. This will imperm it. So we're going to see now if your Ben has the Rocket Salamander, Ponix, if he has uh, the Simple Spoil anyways, or if he has Ash. Oh, he's hard to screw Serpent, which is, I imagine is not what he wants to draw. It's a one of. But one one is pretty good. Gets you some Ash, and then that can, yeah. That'll get you Ponix probably as you get both engines going. Probably don't care about the TG that much. Yeah. I'm going to forego the TGs here. I don't even know if you can do the TG stuff with the Screw Serpent gone. So I think Jeremy only had the one hand trap, which is going to mean it's kind of rough for him here. Like that's what I was noticing. Like here, he like last game he had Imperm and Ash. That's what ended him. Uh, what I've been noticing with the Fire King deck is a lot of the time it's two hand traps that put them in the ground. And they can usually play through one, uh, and that's what we're seeing here. Like he uses all his cards, but he's got managed to push through the one hand trap. But and then once he gets to this point, now the deck just rolls extremely well. He already has Arvada in the grave, so this is just nasty, right? Like, he's going to send Kieran revive that. You're going to have he doesn't have something to wolf that back here, but that would be like the, the really insane uh, part of the combo. Draw King's Fire King, or uh, not always. Oh, he's sending level three Kieran. That one's cool. That's one that uh, I don't know if Herman ended up playing in his volcanic deck was one we talked about, where when it goes to the grave, you can send any fire from the deck to the grave. So uh, it's a way to turn your Fire King engine into extended for anything else. Well, something cool you can do with it is you can send Supreme Servant Golgonda, which is level eight that says if you control a field spell, it revives itself. So it means that anytime you draw a fire monster, not just a fire king, uh, plus island, you can make a uh, zombie vampire without committing a normal summon in the same way that you're doing with the horse cards, right? Because you get to summon Garunix, you send that Kirin, and then with that Kirin, you send Golgonda, you ride the Golgonda, and voila, zombie vampires. That, that's pretty cool. Um, you can send other stuff as well, but interesting to see he's playing that card. He's probably playing a very, very like, large size deck count, you know, to compensate for the amount of, you know, brick your cards that are in his deck, which makes sense. And then maxing out on the, uh, 
uh, the generic search cards. Like, I think we saw like like maybe three sanctuaries last game for that reason. There's the TGs. He normal on Ponix. Okay, so he has normal summoned. Only the threes. That kind of shows you how tight his extra deck is. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm remembering last game, uh, he did pros before he had the opportunity to make Sunlight Wolf. So maybe he does play Sunlight Wolf and we'll see it now. I would like to see it. Discard for Jet. Okay. What does that one do? It's just Roto, right? Searches. Golden Gold Gond is out of bulk right now. I've debated doing that. I, I had a lot of those pulled out of bulk for a long time because I really expected that card to be good one day and just never was. What is that? I don't know that card. Yeah, Gogondo is cool. Okay, so he's getting his TG cards going either way. I'm actually not super familiar with what's going on here. I don't know what that spell does. But I imagine there's the continuous like Monster Reborn, and then you can send it. Okay, and then you get the Flame Bridge out. Neat. What do you want to put here? Here? Really? Okay. Oh, it's not once per turn. Oh, that is sick. Let's go, Ben. You're cooking right now. I, I, I like this. Blaster. Okay, I don't know about that as much. That one's... I, I don't... I, there's no way that's worth the spot in the deck. Okay, there is something Wolf. Sick. Okay, he's probably banished it. So, he almost certainly banished it on Prosperity the first game, which maybe you can argue should have uh, a little more foresight to keep, but the card's very good. Or maybe he just really couldn't afford to keep it. Was that with the dark? Did he use Diabalstar to make that? Oh, he did. Mm, yeah, no, that, that, that was an illegal play. We need to summon the blaster first. And then make a second level 10. Oh, he's just clam beating here. Calamiting the Centurion player. My favorite. Use that, and then yeah, Synchro. And it is Calamity, right? Oh, it's not even Crimson Dragon, it's just straight up Calamity. That's pretty funny. All right, cool. Uh, ben wins with TG Fire King. That, that was neat to watch, but obviously, like, we had to sit through that every game. That'd be kind of upsetting to see the Calamity stuff happen every game. Hey, what is he doing? Is he is reporting the match on Neuron, right? As I was going to post on Twitter. Like, uh... <laughs> All right, let's get back to this. Nadine won game one, surprising, won the die roll, so now we're going to see what Pearly does. We're seeing a good bit of Pearly. I'm not. I, I I must say I wasn't expecting a lot of Pearly, because it really wasn't that popular before the hits. Let alone you know like now it's been hitting more. So you know it just doesn't seem like it, people don't just don't play that deck that much. I'm not sure. Spreading cosmic, so probably not a non-engine in his hand. You may see him just pass like here, right? <coughs> you thought we're second looking for a card in the DB site? Nah. No, it was on their run. No harm, no foul there. Okay, so what you got? I just had two pass, right? I don't, I don't see much more happening. What is that a spell? Hmm. Curious what he's interested in. And Fades get the draw. And that's like all spells. Got a Talents in his hand. The Talents is going to be really good. Talents versus this, this type of setup is so rough. Yeah, uh, this is when Pearly feels like shit. What's up, Brian? How you doing? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is that a Phantasme? What? Hold on. Come on, show me your hand again. Surely there's not Phantasme. 
and see. Okay. Ravioli. It's a mix between aioli and ravioli. You got aioli stuffed ravioli. I don't mean to make fun of his name. It's just a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit unique. Well, he went first and uninterrupted. Yeah, it looks like it. it didn't do much. The draw here is uh, is the saving grace. Now, now it's actually possible. Hank. Okay, it wasn't Phantasmia. It was a different level 7 monster. It looks nothing like Phantasmia, so I don't know how I got to that point. I mean, you negate here, but you just don't even respond. Do you play Zeus in this deck, though? Like, that would really help you with talents here. I guess it doesn't, doesn't matter. You can just still suck up. But you don't care. The music is what you needed this morning. Some good old fashioned classical. Not like classic, but like like uh, you know, these these sixties, seventies songs. Ooh. It's a banger. No, it's not game three yet. Because there's no probably no Zeus, this is definitely not as crazy. There's no way you chain this. Does he play Zeus? That was pretty obviously going to be the pretty spell that he set because he wanted to try block and attack on the beauty as a way of forcing it out. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty spell, the one he's, he got off my friend. Skip song. All right, fine. Your points. What was the message you sent? What message? What are you talking about? Negate, good man. You're negating that? Oh my god. Are we doing this again? Are we getting another fight over uh, the songs? The one in Bozo's that was not readable? Oh, yeah, I can't type. If anyone want to commentate, yes, Ryan, if you want to hop in court and, and talk and, and hop on stream with me, you can. If that's what, that's what I was asking. I, didn't, I don't know why I said Ryan. Negate, 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 negate. Okay, you guys are just trolling. I thought that hey, Pack Reese of five months. What's good, Pack? How you doing? You enjoying Utah right now or are you flying back today? Ryan, I was distracted and I, and I, I, I don't, I'm sorry. You're at Joey's right now. All right, let's go on the couch pack. I saw the standings. So is Thomas supposed to be your, your like white name? Or is it actually just your middle name? I thought that Jesse was cooked. It is. Yeah. You say like yo, like most most Asian people I know have like their actual name and then a white name. To like fit in when they were kids. I don't know. Jordan, thanks so much for the sub. Appreciate it as well. White pack. Yep. Wait, how do we get to a baron? Oh, visas? That's, I don't know, Talos is so much worse when you're not making Zeus there. I'm curious, why did this my friend live, by the way? He could have Ashtolatted it, right? Cult. 
Call me Thomas. I'd be running a train on my opponents. Okay, Peck. Let's go. Ashlot pops monsters? I did not know that. Cool. I just learned something. I told you guys my millennium knowledge is not great. Your name is Mateo, but your white name is Matthew. Yeah, no, it's pretty common for 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 different ethnicities to have different like white name and their like actual name. Like you see, even cities have anglicized names, like Lisboa versus Lisbon, Moskva versus Moscow. I mean, Deutschland versus Germany. Like it happens all the fucking time. This so shouldn't be a weird that, that weird. A lot of English speakers just don't realize how much the rest of the world conforms to match their language sometimes. How are you winning a uh, five win YC's winning champion not in the Millennium Lines? Because this deck isn't popular, and you don't need to know everything exactly to beat the deck. And I'm a white, I'm, I am like, I'm an English speaker. I don't speak other languages well. I, I know like a little bit of Spanish, French, and Italian, but like, I don't speak them fluently. I right, Swift 2 0 from Canadian. That, that was kind of boring. That match was way more fun. A lot of uh, Mexicans, a lot of American cities have Spanish names still. Yeah, and I've seen it sometimes, and you still have uh, different, different languages, but. I don't know why we can't just call things in their native like languages, like, like you know, the uh, Cabo Verde wants to be called Cabo Verde now, no longer the Green Cape. What is it? Yeah, or Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but like, a Cote d'Ivoire, probably don't pronounce it like that. How can I win games not know what every deck does? Sorry, I'm not perfect, man. Uh, when I'm tryharding, I'll know what every deck does, like uh, having my Yachio moments. Does this mean ice? Here's a very common circular, or here's a very common German phrase, phrase, band circular, yes. It seems to be a very, uh, very German phrase. You still call Texas Tejas? I think people do that more as a joke, but like, yeah. Going to the legal play? What did he do? I kind of just wasn't watching. And we also saw Ben fucking make Sound Like Wolf when he just couldn't. Oh, it was boosted. Right. Okay. Yeah. I hate that interaction. It's so silly. Billy guy threw. Yeah, I wasn't really happy with how that was played. It just kind of didn't make sense. Try to pronounce the 20 syllable Czech city name. Okay, but are you telling me the 20 syllable Czech name doesn't have a nickname? Most all these places are the ridiculous bullshit names. Everyone just calls them by nickname anyways. No one actually pronounces all of the nonsense. How well do you know geography? Pretty well. I'm not like one of these. I'm not somebody who spends all day on GeoGuessr. In fact, I don't play GeoGuessr. But my geography is pretty good. Like I can probably name uh, maybe like 195 out of the 197. I'm, I'm probably going to forget like one or two. But I can, I can play. What is the globe game? What did you send me? This is what we're doing now. We're becoming cultural. We wait. Every day there's a new mystery country goal. So guess which country it is using the fewest number of guesses. For example, if a mystery goes to Japan, the following country would appear. Okay. Is name the country to make your first guess. Wait, I don't get... Oh, so it's like Wordle. It's uh, the closer I am. Okay, so what country do you want to do first, guys? Let me make sure it's not, not going. Yeah, okay. I think every American has an excellent grasp in geography. No, you guys are fucking idiots. Sorry. Italy, Japan, Germany. Okay, we got, we're not, I'm just Italy. So that means it's warm-ish. It's not that close. So let's go in this region. You guys want to do India? I saw someone say India. So let's do India. It's still warm-ish. I don't, I don't know how far that really means. England is not a country. Uh, Iraq. Iran, Turkey. I, those are too close, aren't they? I don't know what orange means. How far does that mean it is? 
It was Sri Lanka? No, it would be red if it was Sri Lanka, right? Congo is the meta pick? I don't know how far away orange means. I don't have the perspective. Oh, India is warmer, it says. So no, I don't think it'd be Congo, because it's further away from India. What if I go... I don't know, like here? Or, or Armenia? It's cooler. How, how close is this? Mongolia? That's too far, surely, for Italy. I don't know how close it's supposed to be. It's even cooler. Maybe it is like here. I don't know, Qatar? Maybe it is just Middle East. No, it would be closer to here, though. Okay. So it's like here. Are there still... Dude, maybe it is just Africa. I mean, it is Africa, right? This is still not super close, right? So it'd be redder? Wait, it tells you how close the border is? Oh, that would have fucking helped me. I didn't see that. 1,800 kilometers away. Thank you for telling me now, Cutter. Yes, I didn't see that before. I was just blindly guessing. Somalia? That's too close. It's here. Right? It is too, surely it's too close. What's like here? I don't know. Let's do Rwanda. Like over here. Oh, it's further down than I thought, but it's pretty close. Oh, it's adjacent. It's Burundi? Burundi's the one next to it, right? Motherfucker. Um, what's the ones next to these two? Is it Malawi? Uh... Kenya, yeah, yeah, Kenya is there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, it's not. So it's this area. Is it just... No, it's not. Fucking French Africa. Tanzania? I don't think it's Tanzania. Isn't Tanzania... on the coast? Oh. It is on the coast, but it also goes there. Is it's probably no, no no I didn't mean French Africa as in like the place I meant like it's all the it's this fucking French countries right or the French sounding names. It's not actually French Africa. I that's that was me just misspeaking. French is more like here. Um, neat. That was fun. Okay, what do we do now to kill time? Um, what do we got? Oh, they're back? A winner round eight, that's it. I mean, I don't, I don't really care about an interview. Yu-Gi-Oh! Wordle? Oh, you guys want to watch a pack video? Yeah, right. Pack still here? Probably left. It just like makes your deck super more layered. And oh, and going second, um, the, having this is really nice because you're usually gonna get access to hydrant because you play like impulse and like, um, you have like a bunch of ways to get there with like emergency and all that so good stuff. So. Um, you turn original into like another way to like break your opponent's board, especially if you get. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, like solving second. the redundancy problem. Like, I remember, like I darked one of my opponent's witches because I didn't draw it, and then I used their the, I used their witch to set an original, and then use the original to get access to Ponix, which uh, converts into two bodies because uh, you get to summon Grunix when you uh, trigger Island, and then Island pops uh, pops Kieran from the deck, which gets you another Ponix back. So um, it allows you to convert like the back the black witch into like two monsters, which comes up because from there I made access code clear the whole board, and you know. OTK them, but 
Uh, for hand traps, uh, I only played three Ash. <laughs> Wait, where's the rest of the non-engine? <laughs> not really that many non-engine. That's fine. I, I mean, like in a format where you don't have too much crazy stuff going on, just you can play weaker, with, uh, just weaker non engine. Cards. You know, just the theory of strong engine. Right. You ever so post depth profile anywhere of your X draft spiral? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, three Black Witch. Um, three. Uh, I don't think I did. Pointed, and then one original. Um, so much to say about it. Like I think these cards are like. Basically, just like if like chaos bases and y'all taking notes right now. Not pack. I'm leeching your content. That's what I'm uh, doing I would right play now. More of them if I could. They're just like the best. Um, now how I get? I max out on witches <laughs> because I wanted to, like I said, make my deck really consistent, but also um, make it so that I can bridge the gap between the rescue engine and the fire king engine. Um, yeah. So there's that. Uh, then I play also three prosperity. So basically every good card, one rota, all the broken cards at three. The are there any low rarity cards in your pack? Um, two wheels are like for. Uh, it's not super. My eyes, pack. What are you doing? You know, just uh, for I guess resources. Uh, three emergency. They're common. Not too. <laughs> Joey points it out too. Super, like, give them oh out. god. So I'm I'm gonna have to go back to my locals and tax my boys. Get them back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one alert, one rescue, standard. Yeah, one island, one sanctuary. I only played one in one of these, like I said. Um, yeah, search because I played so many witches, so many wanted. Uh, I didn't feel like I needed more of these because uh, those witches and wanted basically convert into these. So Pac, like when you set the standard for yourself, you set the um, standard at you're going to have the, the high actually, rarity cards. You better, you know, keep like up with one it. One just because like, I opened Fire King cards. Like the Fire King cards just broke the, the, the entire lab board. So I, I like the fact that like my the rescue deck has a really hard time <clears> to lab, but adding the Fire King cards actually helps the lab matchup a lot, which I think is really important. Um, because cure non-targeting effects which just makes your opponent start, start scrambling. It's, it's and phase scarm subbed. Uh, Let's go. HQ, Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Really need it, but I always side this card out too. But I don't know. The game ends in like the turn three. To well, I honest. thought that Jesse was cooked. Two traps, and that's it. Forty-four cards in the main. Uh, Forty-four, eh, pack. Don't ask me how I did it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Extra Typhon broken. Or century. Um, I summoned it under Sun and Wolf a lot, which uh, comes up, which I thought was really, really nice. Like, cause then it lets, because sometimes like you don't have a way to like summon under Sun and Wolf. Um, like there's no, like you can't make a Karibo with a level eight or anything along those lines. So like I would make Sunlight, summon this under Sun and Wolf and add a Kirin back and then have like, you know, a couple interruptions. So yeah, Typhon, um, Broken Link Force, we have Access Code, Appalooza. Um, uh, yeah, Starlight, these are just Starlight. really, really yeah, good yeah, cards that outing your opponent. This outs your opponent stuff going second, and this is like I usually make this card going second a lot. Um, and a lot of people don't expect that for some reason. Yeah, the open's uh, still so going on. Look at that. Play the witch. Um, so it helps you QCR and what? Or free. Going second. Oh, is that ready? I use the the Celine to make Appalooza to like uh, make sure that uh, I resolve all my stuff, which is nice. Uh, heat Soul is part of my combo. I usually go for like Sunlight into Heat Soul into Appalooza, uh, so I get one free draw. Uh, unicorn, um, because I just wanted, I expected a lot of fire kings today, and the unicorn rare. is a non-targeting or non-destruction removal. So you wanted to match. It. Uh, dark and Hita, uh, because oh, it's starlight. Are any of the cards not going to be like and, a premium um, rarity? Hita for like the mirror match, which is really good. Uh, double SP knight. I did summon both of these. Oh, what QCR? They're, they're of insane. IP starlight. That's like the standard inboard. Right, I, I can already see for. the ghost like, the inboard I go for is like sometimes I go for sunlight wolf with IP underneath it with like a bunch of ways, like with with like access to Kirin. A pack um, is a budget player. He has common Wolf, emergency. Magic resources. Nightmare Phoenix. Um, came up for me where I went like some Phoenix. <gasps> Link Karibo. Link Karibo is going to ruin the whole part, structure of the whole deck because it doesn't have a high rarity crazy. print. <laughs> hey, when are we getting a high rarity <laughs> Link Karibo, bro? Karibo, one anima. anima too. Uh, I had like two people playing the Anima. Didn't expect that to ever happen, but a Yu Gi Oh happens. So it is what it is. Um, side deck. I played uh, a bunch of so like basically because like, I didn't really have a lot of hand traps in the main deck, I wanted to just play more board breakers. So I just decided like two storm and evenly for basically every rogue deck, and then in the rescue mirror like these cards like are like basically blowouts. So like they're just, like really really good. Um, I signed one curry Kara because you can like search it with original. So um, I like the fact that I have. Uh, one in the side uh, just in case yeah, against yeah, you really bounce it back and, with noir you know, maybe I better with snake eye ash i don't think it's like impulses, impulses so having the one curry card to search off the original could like uh, get me there i didn't play against any pearly but i definitely did respect that deck i think that's um, the first time i've seen a multi curry card by the way um for basically whenever i went first outside nibbin as like a backup plan in case things go wrong um like and i, I would side out the impermanences because like sometimes 
your back your back row like you literally like have you don't have enough cards. This like, is ball in the budget season set. four. Like, I can't even set like the yeah. permanences sometimes. Ike wins the lottery um, and this is his budget. Because Sanctuary Everything. like clogs up it's the just... fifth zone. <laughs> so um I, I would take out the imprimis and, and put Nibbin, and like I think we have Nib was like. The career card comes Starlight. Yeah, you're right. Like it's not Starlight. You'll pack, bro. You're slipping, man. Um, three bell for Labyrinth, cause uh, no big welcome for you. And then three droplets. So this was like super last minute, but I wanted to play because I realized that I summon like with impulses, you summon on your opponent's turn a lot. So like the fact that you can like start with like. Like a lot of cards advantage. Your ulti does just and look better. Your then why isn't he using really ulti nice. droplets? The main reason nibs. I put Discord in, it could have honestly been I anything, hear but I wanted something to out the rank six against Unchained. Like I was really afraid of like Unchained for some reason. I know, like I know Shavar went to one, but I know sometimes like these duelists they never brick in that with that deck. So like they always end on like Rage Caesar even with one Shavar. So I was like, man, like I feel like I need something to out that. Ain't that hard, I feel man. Like droplets was like a good way to out the. Uh, Caesar and Rage at the same time, um, and it gives like a nice. Oh, and I also I wanted to, it could have been Econ. Too. Actually, I think I wanted to play Econ, but I couldn't out. find the the ultimates, so <laughs> played Econs instead. I mean, played Droplets instead. Um, yeah, but honestly, this these could have been Econs too. Like anything that would have helped you in the rescue matchup and the Unchained matchup. So I decided, like I said, Droplets were good. Dodges uh, escapes. So it, like it, it dodges your opponent's escapes and then negates their rage. So like you like two for one them all the <clears> time. <throat> Or you like, or you like, um, you hit their Caesar, their Rage, and you like turn off their back or so. I like it. It was clean. Um, that's it. Yeah. I feel like I definitely uh, have the Unchained Goo. Uh, These tabs oh, are literally all Unchained all all stuff. This video. For a video that's going to be up on my YouTube eventually. You know, like different options for Unchained. You'll get there, don't worry. It's nothing crazy. You guys will see. Alright, what, what are we doing now? You guys wanted to do Yu-Gi-Oh! Ertle? While we kill some time, I think close this tab. I don't feel like this. All right, what do we got here? Um, let's start with good old Fairy Tail Snow. Arise Hearts. You want to know Jamba Deck profile? I can't give you anything new. Bro, using Edge. I am using Edge unashamedly. Lower level, lower attack, lower defense, lower year. Oh, fuck it, Karibo. I don't give a shit. It's a dark. Higher attack. It's 200 defense. But dark has 200 defense. Dark with 200 defense. Nothing rings, rings in my mind immediately. It's not a fiend. Um, Crabons? It doesn't have 800. No, it doesn't work. Reaper? That's a good guess. Oh, but the attack was wrong. It was not a good guess. It's level 3, though. It's not a zombie. Uh, no, Sangan is 600 defense. I know that much. A 200 defense, level 3, dark. Um, 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 um. Um, um, this is a BA. It's not a fiend, bro. It's not a BA. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. Don't cheat though. Go bio. It's level three. Should all hounds level four? What's hedgehog? Oh, it can't be spellcaster. Never mind. No, it can't be spellcaster. Oh, guys, it can't be spellcaster. Also, Falco's a two. Insector Hornet. That's cool. Is it Hornet? It is Hornet. Neat. I don't know if I would have got that. A Destiny Hero. Uh, you're a bit late, buddy. I think we got the answer to the game. All right, you guys want to see Mass Shadow? Like, <laughs> uh, I guess we can. Let's do some dailies while we wait. Card guesser. 
I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys want to see? Vo voice your opinions now. Master one, hard guesser, or or something else. Like, what do we, what do we need to kill time while we wait for either of these rounds to restart? One, one what? Master duel, master duel. Okay, I'm not getting to master one today. What is the, uh, tryout duels? I never had a chance to do that. What am I dailies today? What do I have to do? I have to activate trap card, special monster. All right, let's just play lab. I know Ryan's probably uh, getting all giddy in his seat right now. All right, where's where's my lab deck? Is there any OCG support for old archetypes that you think could be really good? Like right now? Not that I know of. There was a pendulum reward. I'm not. I don't have pendulums. I'm not pendulum summoning. Okay. Good old driver glued to my hand. Oh, tier is branded. All right. Well, never mind. I guess we are going back to uh, back to this. That was short lived. Rip lab. Okay. So what happened? Just brand the fusion open standard. Same tier player, Felix Pfeiffer. Oh, from yesterday. Yeah, yeah same one. So he made the overnight trek. And he, he's 7-0 here, so he's he's running hot, right? Like, he did decently yesterday, right? He lost to... He was the guy that lost the cash, right? So... He made top 8 yesterday, and right now he's in a good position to make top here. Make top cut. Um, He may be guaranteed at a 7-0. I'm not sure. I don't know. 512 players, probably not. You probably have to X1. We need the Drytron guy from yesterday. I'm not trying to watch Drytron, to be honest. Yes, this is a very basic, you know, bare minimum combo. Does this mean there's a lot of non engine, maybe? You know, there's a top cut. No, no, not like, not like a playoff rounds, but, you know, just top eight. Did I watch the Josh feature? I did not. I was asleep. I, I woke up for like 9, 9 a.m. and then started streaming about like 20 minutes later. So we, we didn't get everything in. It was too early for me. What did Josh play? Uh, someone else can answer. Probably Runic. And mirror. Good start. Eats mirror jade probably. Does he have Albaz and Grave for a Rimbrum line? Probably if he does that. Tier planet's nice. Hmm. So Polly there. I wonder if you're gonna try to the shenanigans where you like Polly chain your cash, but yeah, nah, there's no way that's actually the correct play here. Get some good mills. And uh Despia is notoriously bad for being able to deal with the back row, so these two continuous spells are gonna be quite a problem. It's a great start, you know. He's gonna send first. Interesting. I would. I usually want to mill first. It's like he's trying to block the uh, Matthias's ability to impermanent ash in the same chain. 
sending a rhino. I mean, uh, sending tier cash. I'm not sure about that because that's that's obviously a. Uh, I guess King of the Swamp and Grave. You could be pushing a little more. Okay, this seems to be fine. Ooh, Shyama Heartbeat. That Shyama is pretty much going to be free now because of that be adding back Selic, but that was great. That was the shot was really good because that's gonna force through back row as well. And um really gonna make you know Ma Matias do something. So what do you search here? You probably search Sharon, right? Or you search Havness. If you uh that looks like a tier cache. Okay, that's fine as well, I guess. I thought he already had tier cache for some reason though. So I like set Solic here, and uh, like assuming you have follow up afterwards, I like like pushing the uh, pushing the interrupt interruptions here with, with Shyam. Shyam is really cool in the fact that it doesn't target, so um, you know they're gonna have to deal with it in the summon. It's really gonna I mean, your opponent has to do something, otherwise they risk losing a powerful piece of interrupts. And Rinbrim is not gonna be an answer to it. I don't know about this. The other cool synergy you can do with. Um, Shyama is you target Kaleido Heart with it. And then Kaleido Heart will get a bonus effect. So you could be going for that type of synergy later down in the road. I'd rather use Shyama now early on a four stuff though. And resolve, so three more mills. Okay. Trivia Karm is not actually that good. It doesn't do anything. Because the, the heartbeat's gone, and that's one card you'd want to add. Um and then the scream is already been used, planets already used. So the only real card is probably Metanoise of Crime he could have. If not, it adds really just a discard fodder. Not not anything potentially great. Um, but I mean, at the very least, it will be follow up. I'm just not sure it gets to that point. This is not a good sign, though. Passing here is a. Uh, I don't know. This is Shyama. He's Shyama. Never mind. Maybe he plays Grief. I doubt it. You wouldn't play it in uh, in this. You played a Master because you have so few names, and because you have Kit, so it's worth the investment. But it's definitely not worth the investment in in TCG. The Studio Ghibli version of Country Roads is class. I like that, but why did that come up? So here do you target Scream? You probably target Scream because you can always replace it for later. You get a trap as well with it. Yeah, I target Scream here. Looks like it's being better than Imperm, probably. I don't think I'd leave this just go. Otherwise, we would have done something on Summon. Hmm. Okay. Not charging off Scream here is kind of a bad sign. He probably has another Solic in hand. You probably have to play two Solics. You may not play Metanoise, you may not play Crime. But you'd play two Solics, so I, I assume that's just gone. Kind of a waste, unfortunately. What do you think of tier without Keldor or Gido? I think it is underrated. I think Vedek is still fine, and people are really uh, um, over, you know, like making too big of a deal out of how good it is or how bad it is. There's the Rim Rim here. What's this making? It can make Lubellion, and then what? It can make Lubellion some Stapelia. It's guarding thrust. Okay, that makes sense. That's the type of card you'd have. Does it go? Does it uh, rid burn return to extra deck? Or I don't. Know, I have to read it again. I don't remember. I think no. I think it vanishes and then the other one gets returned or goes to deck. Titanic clad. Interesting. Okay, I don't know if that's what I would have imagined. I wonder what his back row is. Maybe it's Super Poly and he wants to hold that, hold it for that. He didn't value the red that much, which is what has me kind of perplexed. And curious about the entire situation that's on here. Trivia Karmius yes, is going to search nothing.
Uh, we just didn't even see what he added. And it, oh wait, okay, it's discarding it for King's Ark, okay. And happy. Alright. That's really good to get on the field, so now if anything happens, you'll be adding back too. Like if a super poly does happen. What is he thinking about? Oh, what? That's what it was? Uh, don't like this play. No darks here to be able to go into a zombie vampire line. So, Felix will need some sort of extension here, piece here to really, you know, make, close this gap. Uh, of course, there could be a Cartesia coming back as well if that happens. What's the next step here? Do you have anything else to help you keep pushing? Otherwise, this is kind of rough. Like, you don't actually have any good interacts. Like, otherwise, you have to like SP and then Dark and then Zom Vampire. And that's just an incredible use of resources. Looks like he has nothing in hand or... He's valuing the tax. He's going to go for a shutout via resources, which is fine. I think going for game may be kind of hard here. Hmm. And you pop it with the Sark. Then where do you go from here? Kind of awkward. Is Polly still? I mean, it doesn't really help him that much. Maybe a bit. The Shyama goes to the bottom. Yep, okay, he's got that. It's a dark next. Yeah, this is a sprint. Uh, you could have just gone dark first, right? It's really is a dark target on the grave. It's Albaz, right? That was bad. Why not vampire then then sprint? Surely he plays no dark. There's no way the the tier player doesn't play dark. People always forget the Zod Vampire bonus. Yeah. Uh, the random player is just going to follow up. This isn't even helpful. He also popped and spun the wrong cards. Yeah, and he kind of is, fl is floundering a bit here. He doesn't know what he's really accomplishing. Kind of just playing for the sake of playing. And it's leaving him kind of lost.
Are you going to go SP into dark into sprint? That's a waste. No, no, no. So you you dark and then you use their monster plus the the happy to make vampire. And then if you whiff off vampire, you can still go sprint. I think I think you could have accomplished a lot more and tried clearing up the grave. I also don't know if you play shufflers, but I think if you're playing shufflers, you should be fucking milling for shufflers because those are the best cards. And the matchup. I, th I I can't believe people don't play shufflers. Like, yes, I know you lose out on the synergies, I guess, with the millers, but those cards are so broken. He gets two cards back, but it's not... It's, he's probably dead this turn. It's not going to help him. Let me make a roll here. Like, if he was able to get a shuffler instead... He's able to clear out his opponent's follow-up and have the same position here with the roll cup. Yeah, you'll lose the fucking happy, but who cares? How many players has they don't care about us? Of course they do. Of course it, of course it does. This has like, it, I don't even know how many Michael Jackson songs, but a lot. You know why I popped Titans at a loss at the end? They, they, I think he, like, no, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's, like, even worse because you put it back, the, the, the loss back in the deck so they can use Lebellion again. Like, it, it was just bad on, on two levels. Also, Shufflers and Lab, I'm a fan. I think the Shufflers are just insane cards. So if I can play them in a deck, it's somewhat of efficacy, efficacy, like, I will do it. Like, they are insane. Obviously, you have to play furniture cards, but like, yeah. Every deck is so follow up based and based in the grave that the shuffles just feel insane. You couldn't use it on Titanic Lad, but then just don't pop it. It's literally worse on the field than it is on Grave. And don't shuffle back the Lost. Shufflers and Pearly. I don't know about that one. That one's a bit weirder, but you could, in theory. Solic Negate. And then you just, just... What does he do with this? You don't spin, you just send, shuffle, pop, right? And that way you can save the spin for later with a Rook, maybe? And can you make Stapelia? No, you don't have mud in graves. You just make mud. I know. Huh. What do you discard? I don't see what's happening. I discarded Scream. Oh, the Scream that he added back. Um, he, well, he's using Scream. He didn't use it last turn, though, right? I'm not remember, misremembering, right? He just never used Scream last turn. Oh, okay, that was... Uh, wait, why is the sprint doing there now? Oh, he's conceding. Okay, okay. Yeah, Tier still gets the People really underestimate Tier. Like, <laughs> these cards are insane. The ability to snowball is just massive. And the ability to grind is great. They can play off the field and off... Like, so... It's a high engine count is the biggest thing. But the deck is still good. You're so tired of tear. Grow up. Growing up is realizing tear is fun. Lemke said it was playing. He's playing three solid. Would you agree with that choice? Um, I don't mind it. Right, like 
the thing is, you gotta keep in mind it's a it's a finely tuned deck full of the number of mills and whatever you have that are good. And if you're cutting the millers, that means or you don't have a choice, but the millers are gone. You have to compensate with more good mills, especially cards that get you started. So Solik is a way to do so. However, I'm actually a fan of two Trivikarmas because I think it's a good follow up as well. Like if you mill two in the same turn, that's follow up plus like planet. I think planet and scream are just like the best cards in the deck. So guaranteeing access to those, I think is insane. Growing up is realizing not all decks need nine hand traps. Hey, Ryan learned something. Uh, I'm joking. He already knew that, thankfully, at this point. How do you feel about the Ready Fusion package and Unchained? I don't really like it. It's just the max extender. I think Beach Ascend Rollback is going to be good. Oh, I'm not sure. Is the Horus stuff mandatory? I'm not sure. It might be. There's even more ways to mill. No way he wins when the Mcetti gets ashed. I definitely can. Playing Manadium and Tier, milling three Visas and three Heart Monsters was fun as well. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not really into the Manadium stuff. Do you like the Luna cards in Tier? Not really. What events am I going to this year? So far, I'm going to everything that's announced except for Costa Rica and Sydney. Uh, because there's another torrent the same day, Costa Rica, and then Sydney is just too far for me, I think. What's also scary is that was a 20 minute game that tier one. Game one, so fun. Would you buy every tier card in Starlight if they ever get one? Um, Probably. Tier's like. They have, they have a special place in my heart, so I probably would uh, spend a little money for Starlight. It's like, I've been selling most of my high-end stuff, but I kept Starlight Will Colors, for example. Don't think Horse is mandatory at all, but a very solid option. Yeah, I think that's an apt, uh, an apt assessment. The Walking Brick. I mean, there's other, other ways to play it. I thought Charmin Dank, thank you so much for the sub with Prime. And you know, guys, you have your, your Prime subscriptions. They are free to use. It will go a long way to show, show your support and tell me that it's worth it for me to, you know, use my weekends when I can and I'm not traveling to be streaming and especially, you know, covering you know, stuff like this. Uh, I can give you as much insight as I can, talk with you guys, give you as much as my input. So, yeah, I'm going to send it my way. would be very much appreciated. Where do I rank Brandon Chimera? I think right now it's kind of lackluster. Um, it has too many choke points and restrictions that I'm not a huge fan of. And then obviously it can be weak to certain stuff like Droll. How many rounds are there? There should be nine rounds in each of the Italian and German tournaments. How much is Msetti nowadays? Uh, I think like 70 bucks, but I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't looked at the price in a while because I don't own any right in at the moment. Is Italy in their final round already? Last round they were so slow. This time I guess they're fast this round. Is it like 65? Okay, yeah. Is there a playoff and these are just Swiss? These are just Swiss. So we got about two rounds left of coverage, and then we're probably gonna be done for the day. I'm not gonna do any streaming after the tournament. Just, you know, I've I've been streaming a lot the last couple of days. Uh, like I've done like almost thirty hours. So I should be plenty for you guys, and I'll be back again tomorrow. So don't worry. They're just regionals. They are regionals. They are big regionals, and you can still gain gatherable information and enjoyment from watching them. So that's what we're gonna do. So, okay, is he, does he play like a Shadal package? Because here, obviously, the, the problem is, ooh. Wait, does this do anything? If 
the ads. He's not going to add a card. Oh, he's going to call by it. Interesting. I don't know if I'm going to use that. If you're not going to be adding, it doesn't even matter that much, right? A lot of world's points, but uh, people, uh, some people will try hard, so it could be interesting. Yeah, because then it's fire attack. Well, fire attack will only draw to you discard one if you add a card from the hand, so if you're not going to be adding in the end phase, like, you would just be setting and specialing, then you're not even triggering it. Who cares? Uh, this is a very powerful card uh, to have against um, uh, against here. The funny part, though, is uh, if this was Master Duel, he could send Kid Kalos here and mill five, although obviously that's not going to be a thing here. Probably he might play Garuda. He might not. A lot of people don't play it, especially if you're not playing Super Poly. But Garuda here would be nice for the free draw. Maybe he wants Garuda. I'm pretty sure that's Garuda, and he already used it. It's a six for Beatrice. It is a body, and it's not like a useless card. But Kalai is strong. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be so to uh, to get rid of it. Can I refresh the stream? I don't think it's gonna help the lag. It's it, it's on their side. It does have Gura. Yeah, you see, it's still lagging. There's nothing I can do about it. It's it's on Konami's side. That's gonna be searching Quem and something else probably. Quem and the like, red. Ooh, that's cool. I mean, obviously it was already live because of impulse, but tricking off the Gura. Looking at their hand is probably the best because you get the valuable info of how to play around their stuff as well. But this is where playing with mills is so powerful because you don't really know what your opponent what to expect out of your opponent when um they're playing off the top of their deck, not in their hand. It's like almost like the Pegasus versus Yugi duel. Um where when Pegasus knows Yugi's hand, Yugi just plays from the top of his deck. And that, that's very much how like the sand knowledge versus milling goes, right? You're re-adding the randomized factor in. Nice. That's fun. Puppet lock. Great. I don't know if Tactics draw was correct there. Like, what were you really hoping to draw? Was it really just the the gimmick puppet to try to get the puppet lock? And then Quem red. Yep. Nice. How do they puppet off the deer? They're just going to do in the end phase. Or they, they can't summon it this turn, but... Yeah. Yeah, he discarded for opening. And he can't search Puppet here, but he doesn't need to. Oh, no, your servant ends on Puppelock, does it? You ascend Cartesia. No, you need one more card, right? Surely you need the Albaz and Grave as well. Yeah, you discarded Puppet here, but someone said it's just the your servant is Puppelock. I don't think it is by itself. You should need one, one or two other pieces still. It does how? One card is using Bucephalus. What does Bucephalus do? It sends... You need to play some garbage? What Wing Beast do you send? Send Brigand. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So you get the Albaz to hand that way. Okay, and then you send Cartesia with Quem. So then the Albaz plus the Maxis becomes... Uh, Sanctifier, and then Quem revives Cortesia, and then you make, um, okay, I can see it. And then you make, uh, Grand Week and all send, send it. Oh, that's why Shuffle is great. Okay, I wasn't sure yesterday. The shuffler here is really good. I'm very happy at shuffler, but we'll see if it's enough. 
If he didn't need the draw. Oh, boo. I was going to say, you should have just ripped his hand so this wouldn't be happening to you, but I guess he's getting rewarded anyways. That's sad. Go next. Yeah. Oh, what is this lag? What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> I want, I, very weird. What are they banging this banning sanctifier? Dude, I don't fucking know. It's it's so dumb. Here's where you synchro summon. Yeah. Everyone with their high rarity decks today. This is Bell's not high rarity, but it's Quem Starlight. It's foolish. Looks like it's super ulti Alibers. He's having fun. Is Sanct the ban or is Puppet the ban? Uh, there's other things you can do that are similar to Puppet, although they're, they are a bit worse. I think both are justified. Starlight Mirror Jade 2. The ulti brand infusions. He's working his way up. I think ulti Alabaz is, yeah. wonder if it was QCR and a Deer Servant. I saw Foolish is so clean. Yeah. I, w I wouldn't mind higher rarity still. I'm Collector. I love Collector. I want to see Collector rares of some of these cards. Ban Albaz. Damn, someone hates Branded. <laughs> He should be speeding up. Dark Magician. Is that really needed? I don't know. That's not Starlight. Don't pretend I, I care about Rare. You used to play Gold Graph, Super Graph, and Rare Graph. I was 15 and broke. What the fuck did he want from me? I could barely afford the Dantes. Twenty fifth snow. Oh man, I wish. I got a collector one. I'm not broke, but Master Shield's making me broke. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Every time I beg for subs, I'm gonna keep showing this amount. Now, I'm like, look how much money I've spent on you guys for Master Duel. And still no royal snow. Still no royal rare snow. I'd be someone to bell my king of the swamp. That would have been funny. But it also does not matter. Half that through your thunder dragon pile. No, no, no. The thunder dragon pile, I built in pretty much all free gems. That's all for like... I'm I'm joking when I say th for you guys, but yeah. Three K on master level twelve dollars on a haircut, because this is supposed to be return on investment. You know, I'm trying to get you know, the stream this. Plus, some of that's uh, you guys sending me subs just to open packs. Which, by the way, if you want to see me play Brandon, I'm gonna need uh, need some more money for packs. Looking handsome for stream is also alright. Damn, do I look that fucking bad for you? Yes. Thank you. Also do it for Ryan and Ray. 
Yeah, yeah, I remember I had to fucking spend money for the fucking stupid Esperanza deck that I never, I never even played. You missed 12, 12 cup bucks, you pay 50 now? Yeah, I pay 40 Canadian now. It feels kind of rough, but that's the way it goes. Ooh, all right, ten minutes left. Let's see how how this goes. How's the uh, the Italian one doing, right? Because they're in their final round. They're almost done. Are they just done? They really finished already. Oh no no no. Okay. Race race again. A lot of rescue race in Italy. I I really didn't think that was true. I mean, like I I went into Bologna not thinking there'd be that much race, but I was wrong. I guess I just really didn't, didn't understand that how many Italian people were playing race. Interesting. Alright, let's go back to this. It's more interesting to me. Imseti, Ditch, Mali is pretty nice. I thought that Jesse was cooked. Corse, thank you so much for the resub. Ten months now. Appreciate you very much. Very good opening. Let's get the mills here. He's want to get this, he want to get this, he's black. he wants to get this out of his deck. I'm not sure if I agree with that because you know, anytime you're gonna get a tier name, you're gonna be able to shuffle back the other Mali. I don't think you need to push this out of your deck right now. And I don't think I'm like gonna get that mad if I if I, you know, hit it. Better noise doesn't have a target right. That mill did nothing. Oh, they did have a target. Did he mill a tier cash with the Merlin? I just didn't see. Or something. He doesn't have King Sark on field yet. Hello? Oh, yeah, there you go. You see Zomb Vampire probably, right? Perfect. Uh, I guess Brandy could be a little scary, but you should be fine. Valiant, Solik. Okay. Wow. That's pretty good. That's really good. You just bring back the Alibur, I guess? I don't know. He had regained off it. Yeah. And then you can search planet now. You also get to search. So like, you milled better noise. Maybe you play crime, you get crime. I don't know if he plays it. This is this is a lot. This is insane. And then you get to your Sharon and you can make a rank four. Like you can make a um, redoer. Do you think they might hit tier even more when they release Horus? I mean, they have already released it. No, the new card is not very good. I mean, it's like playable, but it's, it, it, I don't even know if you include it. I wish he put it, you know, in play so we could see what he's adding. Six minutes left. I wonder if we're going to see a scatter shot come down. No shufflers yet either is a big one. You know, that, that really impedes on um, Brandon's ability to play. Oh, you think he means a master duel? Oh, um. No, I doubt it, to be honest. I think Tears already pretty hit in there. Linking off here for what? SP? Okay. It really doesn't play dark, huh? You really wanted field space? I'm not sure if that was really worth it.
Want to see a share in here next? Yeah, Sharon, and that's gonna set up a Mud Dragon play, right? Tear Cash, I think so. I think he's already used that, or he added back Rhino earlier, maybe. Yeah, so sending. Okay, yeah, sending Tear Cash, which is a little shitty to send. You you do want to have the card of mill, but it's fine. Um, he'd have an easier Be Beatrice line if he uh you know left the Mali Grave. I don't think. He kind of it's unnecessary but here he at least gets the mud yeah no, that's kind of rough he left himself rather open and his grave is not that loaded he already used sp2 so not, not a huge fan of this but only four minutes left See what's gonna happen. You can still go redoer with the Rhino Heart and then make Aurora using the Merlin. Okay. That oh, phew, this is Shuffler. Make mud that way, yes. The, the, then the Druis. Can't send the uh, uh, Rhino, and uh, that's pretty na nasty. So you probably send the uh, ESP here. If you send the, uh, if you send Mali, they can. Well, yeah, so now they just do anything. I don't know. Rolk? Yeah, Rolk is pretty good. And Bahamut Toad. I just want to leave a monster in attack position. That SP is not going to stay there. Turns into scatter, into, uh, into Sprint. Or the limit the Sprint. There was zero percent. Brandon gets to play. No, he'll get a chance to play. Not, not, not very long though. I think it's about to end. Did you deal any damage though? Uh, if they play scatter shot. Yeah. You probably keep up the Sharon, no, rather than the Bahamut. I think I, I think I keep up the Sharon over the Bahamut. Yeah, you pass, man. It's uh, it's done. Your turn's done. And this scream is also just going to be so, so nasty. Merly. Shyama. Okay. Now nah, Sharon's engraved, so that's going to be alive for Kaleido Heart. Or Stapelia with mud. Stapelia is probably better here. Um, Clyde is pretty good too. What is he shuffling back? Merly, I was gonna go for the pop. You should hold the pop. For uh, battle phase is threatened.
I didn't love that. I think you need to do that. 10 seconds. Talents. And then you need another talents or you're dead. I mean, time's over here, so. Alia shows if you had two talents here in rapid succession, you actually just lost. Grand diffusion, no, I mean, it's just a little cost. Yeah. We asked the burn here. What does Death's View do to burn? I'm not sure. Mask doesn't do anything. He'll just won't use an effect. His last card was Crime. I don't know. I thought it was Sullick. Okay, it was Crime and never mattered. It never mattered with crime. Okay, that doesn't. That's fine. At least we're seeing here that the, the game was always going to be over. I don't like that shuffle though. I think that shuffle was unnecessary for the most part. Yeah, I negated everything. All right, one round left. Um, let's go check on the Italian one real quick. See if it's still going. Here we are. We're in game two. Race versus Runic for hire. I know why he did it. He changed it to the Druis, but I think Shuffler is more valuable than that. I think Branded is like he's linking off the Druis Worm. And the Druis Worm has to go battle phase. You go to the grave. It can't attack over the uh, um, the uh, the Toad. But also, when he goes battle phase, you can pop. Right? Like, <clears throat> your, your, your goal isn't protecting like some crazy combo. Now you're protecting from dunk damage. And the Deuce Worm is literally zero threat. And unless he goes battle phase. And if he goes battle phase, you don't care. Will also protect Toad from battle. Yeah, that too. But also just not even big enough anyways. Could you sprint to give it back? Oh, you left the Bahamut up. Yeah, you could have done that too. My point is the Druid Swarm was not worth the, the, the shuffle there. Holding shuffles in those spots is incredibly important because it turns into a pop at any time where the rest of your intera interactions are a little more um, conditional to what's happening and your opponent can maneuver around them to some degree. The shuffler plus pop, which happens at pretty much any time, is extremely hard to play around. So if that's the one you're holding, it becomes very oppressing on the opponent. Is there a kindling in his hand? No, it's not. I don't know why I saw rekindling this prosperity. Pop fountain, yeah. Uh, is this main phase one? Is this lethal setup? I mean, it doesn't matter, right? He has no cards. Right, he should just clean up these games. Bum, bum, bum. I don't know. I don't. I don't have anything to say. It's kind of just standard. Rescue is closing up the game stuff. It takes a while. So what else we got to say, guys? What else can we uh, talk about? Because I have nothing to add to this right now. I don't want to just have dead air. Pearly. What? 
Josh was 5-3. He's probably just dropped, right? You don't play after that, typically. Pax, Fire King, Rescue Douglas. I already did that. What do you feel about Runus going to 2024? I'm not a huge fan. That's with the Disney card game. Uh, Lorcana? I haven't really played it too much, but with OP coming out, I'm intrigued. Why are the random flame swordsman support? I mean, it's the same as the Get Guardian one. They want to revitalize some of these decks in more modern ways. Um, where they're not, you know, good decks, but, you know, they can at least do something. Needs to go faster. You don't want to go into game three low on time against Runic. I think Rescue or Fire King will do better post Phantom Nightmare. Res uh, Fire King will be better, I think. I just want back SP is kind of funny. But surely you can just, you know, end this, right? Preventer. Does he have a good way to kill this Gary? Dosh is 5 feet the Bishop Rink deck. It happens. I don't think the deck is very good. So that too. Fuck oh, Gary. That doesn't, I mean, you can pop it, but then he gets to pop a card. They're just prolonging the game. Josh washed. Yeah, that shit's fucking annoying. People say that whenever a good player like one of us does bad for a single event. Oh, Typhon. Yeah, that works, I guess. Just don't do bad. Yeah, because I can beat variants every time. That one's predictable. Game three, Runic Bishop goes first. I think this deck could still lose going first. I don't think it's like some insane going first deck. It's a meme from Josh's chat to call him Washua. And some of y'all can be mean. Good thing no one thinks I'm good, easy. I've seen your friend shit on you plenty, Quantal. I think you get it bad enough sometimes. Sometimes your deck just hates you and the variants are impossible to keep up with. Yeah, happens. You get shit on a little bit. Yeah, yeah some people definitely get it worse, but I've seen you catch some strays. I've sent a couple your way, so like I've, I'm not, you know, innocent to that. Quantal gets shit on because Emery carried him at Worlds. <laughs> what are some interesting rogue opinions in the upcoming format? Um, I don't really have any. Maybe Cash Tira. Have I tried made to order mermaid outfitter inside decks? I have not. Um, I don't know what you're really going for that though. So what you want to add? You want to banish like Garunix and then add their Garunix? I mean, that's, that's neat. Cash is solid. Turn one board suck. Yeah, but I mean, birth is really, really good. Like it's it's not to be underestimated. And fair unicorn are fine. You get follow up. It creates very little to do it. And then you can play a lot of hand traps. Is Runic Rescue a deck that could work? I tried it and partially because of... Uh, of mutation, whatever. Um, the it's something that lets you mutate a fusion into any monster from your deck. I'm 
problem with playing cash is that you have to play cash. I, yeah, but I mean, without a rise heart, I actually don't mind cash that much. I, 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 my, my biggest grievance with that deck was for sure a rise heart. So I'm not going to be petty here and say I still have too much uh, of an issue with it. Uh, cash can make Dweller if you play three rise hearts pretty easily. And Dweller is really good. Velo. Oh, wait, it's Fur Hire. I don't know why I thought this was a Bistral Synchro. Maybe because we're talking about Josh. And this deck actually has good turn one boards. That's a Lunalight tier. Um, it's fine. I don't love it. Right, Kirit. Droll. Okay, so yeah, that was obviously a draw phase fountain then. That hurts. Uh, can you use something with the uh, mannequin cat here? He has Rex, which you can't use. He has Ash. He has no runic spells. This is rough. And it's not going to have any ability to get it, and he can't draw three with the full goal line here. Uh... Do you get the feature match, Matt, for winning a YCS here in NA? The one that says the name of the event on it? Um, you do, but only when they're featured. So I've never gotten one. So I've never won a YCS that was featured in North America. I got second in Pasadena. And then Vancouver didn't have it. So, yeah, fun. I didn't have it in Knoxville because that was a written feature match only one. I wouldn't have got one in Niagara anyways, because again, it was a written one, but yeah, I got second there as well, so, I mean, whatever. They didn't do it for London, I don't know if it's a thing in Europe, but back then they didn't do it either, so I didn't, I didn't get one for that. Donpa. It's so much worse without the draws. He's got 10 minutes in the round as well, so he has to be somewhat fast. Otherwise, he's just going to leave himself open to getting attacked over and losing. Do I like getting second place? You know, I don't mind it, but I prefer getting first. And for what it's worth, I'm 6-6, six and six, so can't be that bad. Also, triple tear it off of Mastodal. I think it's very cool and something I want to explore a little bit more. What does this make? Uh, Donner? And then... Okay, what, what's sending that? Oh, Dampa. Dampa pop. Okay. So what do you want to set up here? You look at the Rex Engrave, and then... I mean, look, it's kind of it. You get the pop and then a gate. L. I get worse happy. You're almost happy to see that, I think. Because, like... He's going to negate. Yeah, like, you're, you're just happy to see him burn the card. Unless you're going to get nibbed here. Like, you should be able to draw another, another, another uh, for higher card. And now you get some actual value. Philo. Philo revives, right? Or is it only someone from... I don't remember. So this just make fall go here pass. You leave up the beat so that we get the search for the the card to add off fall go. I kind of want to leave up the beat. And get rid of the the Raphael. I don't think two first. Okay. I think IP is just ending like this. I kinda wanna make the fall go. Next way fountain, but 
German Open has one round left, so we still got a little bit of time to go. Is this the one Josh was playing in? No, this is the Italian one. The German one is uh, in a break right now. I'm pretty sure. In between rounds still. Yeah. Rafael Filo beat into Falgo. Leave Rex. SS Rex with Falgo. Go into Gigantic. And then sprites, but you don't need. You're under droll. The, the sprites don't do anything. It's fine, right? Like, I really, I really wanted the draws though. I mean, she still can fall go on their turn. It's way more names as usual. We've never seen Philo played. I've seen it a couple times, but I'm not a fan of it. It, it was a bit more popular during the. Uh, the the like the, the beginning iterations of this deck, but it fell off drastically as people realized it's largely unnecessary. Bell again. Oh, that is so good. I mean, it's not the end of the world. You can still what well, IP here, just get rid of the Raphael. The beat and the uh thing, leave up the Dompa and the special Rex from deck, and you get the pop and the draw three still. Is Ash on top? It would be nasty, though. Impulse is, yeah, it's, it's a fine Ash. Oh, Felix goes to the bottom. I didn't know that. Okay. Ball go. And then, yeah, you just summon. Get out, Rex. I wasn't feel it was beat, right? No, no, no. Why does beat go to the bottom? Did he just not search off Rex? Or he only use one effect to return? Is he on zero cards? He used Bell, Bell, Impulse. Yeah, I mean, this looks really rough. That's kind of like game over. Yeah, that's no, over. If someone by Fila goes to the bottom of the deck. Okay, cool. Good to know. This is GG's though, for sure. He has no battle phase this turn, so he just has to use this turn kind of... He could just be speeding through shit, solidifying his board, and making us that, that uh, Fiorita is going to pass directly back. And then 801, he'll probably win the regionals, winning for hire. I'm assuming Fiorito has been pared down. You'll need to. Oh, or he'll just gain life points like this. And then he's a no, 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 and still losing. He may win by tiebreakers. Oh, I thought this was a draw. He's 7 1. Never mind. I thought he was, he was X 0 1. And he still may win. It's just kind of doing nothing. Now we can search that. Now you gotta SP banish it because it searches. You're gonna draw Fogo? Can you draw Fogo there? He looks so angry. He looks focused. I can understand. I, I don't always look that pleasant when I'm playing. But I can understand <laughs> to a degree. Yeah, you can draw fog, right? I just didn't do it there. <laughs> yeah, the Phoenix was so pointless.
Nice. Germany finals is all starting now. All right, we'll we'll tune out because this is over. We're not going to sit through this. I'd rather watch the full match here. Tier versus probably get Fire King. I'm gonna do a quick prediction, guys. Fire King and Tier. Who's gonna win? I know they already started, so you can see who's going first. But it may not be everything. So much you guys got. Get those channel points up, because I know you guys are going to want to use these channel points later. Just to skip songs and whatever nonsense. Heavily favoring tier. I'm ten I, I, I'm... I'm likely to agree, but, you know, he's going second. I don't like the Tribrigate cards very much. But I guess Revolt is still a strong card. They're still lagging. All in, let's go. All right, let's go. And hey, if you need the points back, all you gotta do is be a sub. You get more points faster. Man, this lag is actually getting kind of annoying. Pretty bad. I wonder if it's lagging everyone else as well. If there's a bunch of Fs in chats or whatever. I just can't read this. Both are undefeated too. Yeah, so because the number of players of the regional, there were a lot of XOs. Appalooza. That was good versus tier. Any other revolts? This may just be very hard for uh, for Felix to deal with. Tier doesn't have a great answer. You can chain lock sometimes, right? So if you have scream, you can start rolling that way. But that's not that's easier said than done. Or if you open King Sark directly, I guess. But revolts should should deal with that probably. Two back row, okay. So what's the goal here? I guess you want double King Sark because those aren't going to activate. And then you can start playing a main phase two and clean everything up. Otherwise, this may just be a dominant apo here. Avenus can also help a bit. You know, obviously one of kind of hard to have. What's the try synergy? They're, they, they're try types technically, so I mean, it kind of synergizes. I'm not the big fan of it though. It is filler because the Tribe card, I mean, the Fire King cards aren't enough on their own. Kid is Fire King, you pop Grunix from the deck. You have to pop the little Kieran first, but yeah. If he's not chaining Havin this year, he's just going to lose. Kind of what you need. Is Henry not on the sinful package? Not sure. Yep, another card down. No talents here. I'm killed off Infernoble Mule Tears 8 0 after your majority of top cuts. This game sucks. It's also just not true. Also, Infernoble is way more toxic of a deck than, than Tier, so. Not, I very, very, very much not agree with you. Hundred percent wrong on that, Jesse. You're allowed to have your opinion. I've said it like four hundred times, so I'm not gonna keep repeating it, especially because that's not the focus of the game here. <laughs> and stop doing that. We can't see what he's searching.
I'm intrigued if he had planet here. Why he didn't just he he so he's really trying to force the uh the apple through to so he gets a guaranteed battle phase. I'm not sure if that was really necessary. Okay, it's pretty good. A revolt should still eat that up, right? Like I have to imagine playing for playing for like control of the game rather than playing to kill was better. I hope this is like a King Stark in his hand. This is the way he's leaning. I mean, like, it seems like this should be. Yeah, okay. Thinking. What were you thinking about? I thought that Jesse was cooked. Barrel of the Great, thanks so much for the sub. Appreciate you. Three months now, let's go. The sub sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah I love it. Bro is sobbing. I mean, he's allowed to feel that way. I I've I hate ice ult so much. I cannot Goki and fucking Rongo like only used for evil, man. Only used for evil. You never saw ice ult in any event you played in. Count yourself lucky, because I have many times, and I do not enjoy it, ever. For my hero ISOL deck, or the fucking Dark Lock Gumbler deck, y'all, that was also not fun. That's banished four cards in your hand, that sounds like great Yu-Gi-Oh! Pretend Tear wasn't toxic as coping. It was not toxic. That's just the thing, it really just wasn't. It's just way better than everything else. But the gameplay is not toxic. The Millers are dumb. The Millers are one. That was silly, but it's better now, and it was better when uh, before in the first two iterations. That's not what he needs. I love that the community is so divided on tier. It, it it's really baffling. The shovels are also toxic. You, you can't just say good cards are toxic, though. What makes Isol partially toxic is it limits card design because of how um, how much toolbox is any fucking warrior or equip spell in several ways, but it also forces you to run several bricks in your deck for a huge payoff. So it it rewards people to play very greedily. That's toxic because it leads to very volatile games of bricking and. That that's unenjoyable. The shufflers are. I mean, the millers need to be a three or a zero. Yeah, and at one, they're they're too gambly. Like unless there's consistent ways to get them every single game, I don't like them at, at one. That much I'll happily agree with. They're toxic at one. Because they're they're too too volatile. Yeah, I don't I don't love this play from Felix. I think he should have threatened the Apo earlier with the battle phase or threatened the revolt. And then if you threaten the revolt and then push through the last of the Apo negates, the Imsetti resolves and you can stick the gold, the, the King Sark and play that way. I think this was kind of uh Oh no, he had the second King Sark. Okay, he did. So that was the correct read. So never mind. What he did was fine, but then why did he go battle phase? So I don't understand. Okay, but he's gonna lose anyways here. I mean, he had to try, but no, this is this is this is the game. Yeah, unless he has like a shuffle, he went to the chain there to put back all the fire kings, but I was pretty sure he did not.
Mm. It still feels a little bit weird. I'm not. I don't love the ordering that Felix took here. But okay, second king's heart does make more sense. And then no, here here is really rough, right? Because you got the big rune is coming as well. This point in the game is kind of rough. It's kind of like, you know, out here. But he's committed his battle phase now. That's no longer a means to threaten disruption. Look, if he had his battle phase, he could say, okay, go battle phase here, you know, attack the Kirin. He's already used the effect, so that's fine. And then, and then Minfis 2 play, but he killed an Apo with no negates already, so that's kind of weird. Oof. Okay, I don't think this was ever a winnable game at this point, but I mean, like, I still think the ordering could have been better. I think the tier play gets more value here. That's not about value. Losing those traps is, is actually kind of rough. And then you get the Ponix back, then you Island Pop, the Ponix, which brings back the Garunix. And then the Garunix triggers, and yeah, I mean, this is very, 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 very over. Shurig will banish again, and then you just attack and kill him. A bunch of texts because I haven't checked my phone since I like woke up. She got a sticker, nice. What does this mean, guys? Turnier Relgen, Regal. German words look so complicated, but oftentimes just aren't. Does this just mean turn? Turn of red guy? Red turn? Tournament rules. Oh my god. Never mind. Ignore me. A lot of Germans in the chat, apparently. Uh, skip song. Not a fan of Japanese, huh? You think tidal tier is going to be good? I'm honestly not sure. I'm excited to try it out. Regal means, or I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, means rules. That makes sense, I guess, like regulations. Ornament rules. Cool. All right, so we got a game two here. This is old format or Jan Banless? It's Jan Banless. It's 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 an effect now, so you know this is it's a it's official, you know, regional play. And we're watching the official stream. All these guys are siding. I want to thank you all. Thousand people for watching the stream. You know, this is exactly the type of growth I do want to see. I do stream every single weekday as well at around noon Eastern. I know a lot of you are busy with work and other stuff and can't come, but we do a lot of master duel and other TCG stuff, React content, all the same. And you want to engage in this type of meta discussions, I'm happy to. Uh, otherwise, if you want to show your support, drop a follow, uh, a prime, you know it is free, or even just a sub. Tell me that it is worth it to keep doing this. And I'm going to slow down my travel a little bit this year, specifically for like farther away I events. That Jesse was cool. So for like European Nationals, like we did last year, the WCQ, uh, or even a European Y Sister 2, we expect some more watch parties like this where I can be commentating along. Although for those longer ones, I'll probably find something else to do it with because it can be quite tiresome to be the only one talking for 48 hours and as you see mayonnaise subbed with prime thank you very much i appreciate it what if fire king's missing the tcg just bonfire also the snake eye populace and what i, I think is largely is underrated cool. is the promethean princess i mean and that's a weird card to call underrated because it's nuts and people know it but i think the card is just you know beyond insane anyways also see merlin pc subbed as well with prime thank you very much use those free primes that go to good use here 
Jay Lifeless also subbed with Prime. Thank you so much. I thought that Jesse and Josh duo commentary. It's gonna be hard because he's gonna be going to European events, and I'll still go to some European events, but I'll go to not as many maybe, because just the the transatlantic traveling is very tiring. This is now property of the Bundesrepublik Deutschland. I I don't know. Josh at local today. Josh, no, Josh, Josh is playing this. Oh, Snake Eye Runic after support. Josh is talking about it and thinks it's going to be very good. Everyone keeps saying that, so I'm I'm curious to see if he's if to see that vod. I thought he posted on YouTube. If not, I guess I can look at it another time because I hadn't given it any thought. I mean, it's a nice synergy that you can send off your stuff with the Snake Eye cards, but I'm I'm not as Runic pilled as uh you know Josh is. I'm not a fan of the Runic cards typically you know suffocating your non-engine spaces. So you're really relying on the runic cards to carry the non-engine aspect of the deck. And I'm not sure that you know really can right now. Um, that's not a very informed opinion, though, so just don't read too much into it. It's kind of first impressions. Bundes Republic Deutschland equals United States of Germany. Sure. Will you do coaching? Yeah, I will be starting up coaching again soon. Uh, we limited spaces. I also selected with students I picked to make sure people that are willing to do several sessions. I don't want to do just one session and done because you won't learn anything. And I don't want to feel like I'm teaching you nothing either. Uh, and it's also quite expensive. Wait, you now I'll post, if you want to, you want updates on that, you should check my Twitter because that's where I'd, I'd post any updates um, when I'm doing coaching. Considering Snake Eye Runic for this event, really, before any of the Fire King cards, that sounds a bit, um, I guess you just, just for testing purposes. So, so that's strange, but sure. No one is as big of a fan of the runic cards as Josh. No, I doubt it. I mean, that, they've done him well. Like, like when I say tears done me well, I mean runic's this, the equivalent for him. What are my schedules for dual night? You love catching it. Uh, I think Sam wanted to change it. it. It used to be every second Friday, but I think he now wants to do it once a month. We film whenever we can, just because we all have busy schedules, and whenever we have a chance is when we film. But. Um, for actual upload dates, I mean, it's his channel, so I, I can't really speak that well on it. Josh is runic at this point? Yeah, I know. OCG loves runic stun. Not the same thing. Can you say Oshloi Schlung Shen Formant? No, I cannot say that, or I just tried to, but probably butchered it. Stop trying to make me say these 30 letter German words. I told you I speak a little bit of Italian, Spanish, and, and, and French, not German. <laughs> I'm going to struggle with that one. What are your thoughts on using the Snake Eye cards on Fire King before Phantom Nightmare? I like one Ash, one Flame Burge. Uh, I think it's fine. Yeah, no, I, I like, I think Flame Burge is really, really good. I don't like that you can't bridge them as successfully as you can with Populous, but it's still solid. All right, so we're actually seeing plays here. Let's go to the Vampire. Another Rhino here would be really good. Medora's insane. Oh, and Keldo's nuts. So what do you want here? None of these are really impactful. He'd probably just... I don't know. Take his... I don't know. It doesn't matter. Maybe take the level four. The camera doesn't do anything. If it was a different Fire King, I'd have to take it out of his grave so we can't, like combo a three card combo in hand but yeah, it's it's almost irrelevant what it does you horse yeah whatever sure a shovel make bahama shark they're earths not waters you can't do that you could have made like redoer but that's not obviously like significantly worse then mellow dark which is nice because no dark sprint plays incoming Oh, I didn't even see a Trim Carmen in the grave. Oh, you discarded it off of the M study, right? Yeah, okay, that's insane. Probably the, the, the Giblin Riders, the Goblin Riders. Uh, I think they're, they're missing cards. They have like some cool opportunities, some cool effects, but it's not enough for a full functioning deck yet. All right, so what do you get here? Do you get Tear Cash or do you get Sharon? A Rhino. Interesting. He already has Sharon then, right? If he's doing this. Yeah, it looks like a Sharon. 
So you, you don't want to melt here. Here, I melt it here. Nice. You melt Merly. Actually, it's fine. No, you just put the Merly up top. Uh, you make you make dangerous up top, and then you make you summon the Rhino. Then you make Bahamut. Then you make Beatrice. Then you make Toad. Uh, he's fucking chilling. He's he's fine. Use the Merly. Use it. This is like everything. This is full, 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 full field. Uh, like, you honestly, maybe you don't even make Toad. You just fucking make Dweller. Like, if that's a card in this deck, Dweller is just insane versus this deck. Okay. okay. Is he just now uses the MZ? I don't. Uh, I guess. Yes, I. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's coming slightly better. Um, this is Never Can Say Goodbye by the Jackson 5. Good old Toad. Bahamut should be up top so you can make Beatrice without having to link here. But it's fine. SP Banish Kieran. <laughs> Make Beatrice. And then did he he had a he had a King of Swamp in the grave, right? So he can he can go into Rolk. He should he could have made a dweller with this too. I guess I'm not sure he plays Dweller. Seed here. Yep. Heads up by Henry. Going first game three with like eight minutes left on the clock. If you don't have a, if you can't burn, isn't great. So you want to just you know save time. What is the best end board Horus tier? It really depends on the build because there's so many small iterations you can do. Like there's Toad, there's Baron you can do. Uh, it could be Dweller, it could be Rolk, there could be um, there's Beatrice, there's Scream, there's Solix, there's Crime, there's Metanoise, there's Planet, there's Shufflers. And Felix would have had a lot. Like Felix wasn't losing. Now, the best board I've had is like, is like Be uh, Beatrice, Kaleido Heart, Toad, Baron, all three traps, Scream, Planet, both Shufflers and Grave, Tear Cash in hand. And uh, SP up top. Obviously, I won the game. <laughs> Tier board will be best on board once transaction drops. So the thing is, like, you have to wonder if it's worth two spots in your your, your main deck, right? Because that could be a uh, you know risky for breaking. Uh, and it's not like you can mill them and they extend your combo. They're only good as end pieces. Um, and that's kind of, you know, rough, right? If you're going second, they're kind of bad. So maybe you side deck them, but I'm not sure you need that. The other way to use it is if you play three rollback and really lean into the trap synergy, and you can play like Needlebug Nest alongside it. And then you keep milling five, uh, and that can be cool. But then you have a lot of traps in your deck and maybe too much for going second. You know, it's worth considering, but yeah. I don't know if I'd, if it, if I'd consider an auto-clued in tier by any means, because there's plenty of other things you can be doing. And Beatrice is mega powerful as is, right? You gotta, you gotta be do just enough to be winning the game, but if you're doing more so for the sake of consistency, it's not worth it. It's an equilibrium you have to be careful not to throw off balance. Could Metanoids be enough of a payoff? Um, to just play rollback? It doesn't help you going first is my problem through hand traps. Paleo tier sounds nice. It could be interesting. When if Kit was legal and Toad was legal still, they'd be really cool. But obviously you just do other things. Right. 
fractal. I wouldn't stop this. Yeah, no. Okay. His impulse is a weird choice. I, I don't love it. I mean, it's nice to draw and discard for synergy's sake, but if you can't push through the field consistently, you know, it's not going to be that good. So, I mean, he was close last time, so maybe it's worth it, but I'm just scared of getting Dweller Flagated and then this, this stuff is not helpful. Like, these side deck spots, these precious spots are being used for... Not actually winning this. Yeah, 18 minutes for game three should be plenty of time. I mean, it very easily could go over. Like, it's here, it could take a long time. You know, this is taking a long time to read impulse, but. Yeah. Lots of siding, should all aerial and tier mimic soul release? Yes, that's a cool option um, that we saw being used in. What deck was using it? Um, in OCG, I don't remember, but. It is neat, um, and you can also do like app clone stuff. Try to get a draw with it as well. I'm not sure if it's worth the spot entirely, but it could be cool. Branded with Shadal Fusion? Yeah, you're right. That's what I saw. Okay. Bro, keep strong Trivikarma. I mean, it's not that bad when you play discard cards. Like, here, obviously, he's happy with it. How much prep do you put into a YCS format? It depends. Right now, I'm putting a little more because I care about this UDS tournament. But normal YCS, I don't care very much. I'll, I'll just do the natural. Like, pretty much my prep is what do you see me do on stream, and that's about it. And maybe just like chilling in court with friends where they're playing. Is that Nesh? No, this is not Nesh. Not even the same country. Marabrum? What does he search? German Nesh? Doesn't even look like Nesh though. Like Nesh has a face cam, y'all can see what it looks like. It doesn't look like Nesh. Mm-hmm. A League of Runics or you get the Karen here. What's Josh's record? I believe he's out. Yeah, Grunix here. It'd be cool if you played Sunlight Wolf here. I mean you kinda of clock your zones though. The fantastic opening? Uh, it seems okay. I don't I don't I don't know how convert how this converts that well. He can definitely pass as Nesh's brother. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Here I go again. Looks nothing like Nesh. Yeah, I know. People are just tripping. I, I don't get it. It's like, haha, European. That must be Nesh. I wonder if all the people who say he looks like Nesh are just Americans.
Your brother from a different mother looks nothing like me. Don't know why. Well, I can explain it to you if you want how genetics work, but it seems to me Google can help you there. Short hair plus glasses must be Nash. Nash doesn't even have that short of hair. He doesn't have a ciggy in his mouth. No, he doesn't have a. He doesn't have a bottle of wine or a glass of wine either. Yeah, he's not. He's not. Uh, he's not screaming and yelling. With the. Uh, <laughs> uh. That was a long turn for Fire Kings. I feel like that took longer than it should have, right? No like Supreme King Magician deck performed an OCG but flopped in TCG. It didn't really perform an OCG. It was a rogue deck. It was like barely playable. And they had legal cards like Electromite that made a huge difference. If you close both of your eyes, it's Nesh. Yeah, if you use your imagination. The power of friendship you can envision Nesh. Yeah, Electromite is broken. Alright, so what's the best out here to Appaloosa? Talents would be nice. Talents would be creamy. We just miss Nesh that much. You'll see him soon. He's nowhere. He's 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 at yeah, his Italian regionals a spectator. Decided not to play for some reason. You don't have any glasses on. Yeah. He's revolting here for the scream. I guess because this is a way to threaten Apo. But it also forces out your interrupts. And it, it, specifically, it's like really rough into talents. I'm not sure if this is fully correct. I'm like, you um. Because now your your interactions are all going to be linked to him using effects. So you can really control that level of interaction relatively easily. Depending on his hand, but... I'm... Yeah. Do you know if he has a Kieran on hand? I don't think, I don't think so. He has a Kieran maybe a bit better, but I don't know if he has a Kieran guaranteed. I'm pretty sure he had a Garunix off the island, right? There's no Skyburn this time. Kingsark's a great start. Pitch Impulse is good. I think you just threaten battle phase here with the whole with the seti, or do you go both? You probably just do both. Happy first is sure it makes the most sense, I guess. And then you ditch, and you clean up the field and vampire. And also, up, we'll be up six hundred going into time. Yeah, I, I, the revolt was hasty. Definitely battle phase angle. I don't think he has Kieran. He would have used it with the sink with the gold sark. Can't nib here. I'm just has to take this right. Mm, yep, and then you get the 
the Catastra effect of King Sark to kill the uh, Fan River with Happy. Yeah, and then you can fight me in phase two. He hasn't normal summon yet either, so this should be pretty simple for him. This tier with no Shizu dude must have played out of his mind. He has the, he has the shufflers in there. Oh, we didn't see them yesterday, so we weren't sure, but we saw them like twice now today, so we know they're in there. I think Sark effects kind of nice. They're all kind of nice, right? I mean, obviously, those little bonus effects can be the difference maker between you winning matches sometimes. Like, we saw it helped him versus the Branded guy because uh, his guy wouldn't die to Mirror Jade. Wait, how did he get Sanctuary down? Did he pass? Was the Sanctuary already there and I was just kind of blind? It was already there, right? I don't know. I thought it looked like it just came down. I like zoned out for a second, then I feel like it was already there. Okay, I'm, 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 I don't know why I thought it just, uh, ignore me. I'm going, I'm going mad. Talking to myself for five hours. Not the same talking to chat, and you don't have another person to talk to. It was already there? Okay, I was already there. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Why does he want a vampire first? Okay, it didn't matter, Bell. Vampire and then SP if all fails. Horse cards have been very good. Canceling cough with Ben Rear. Hmm, okay. Fuck last turn, yeah. I don't know if I'd why I'd want to anyways though. Resolves. Tear cash is good, Solic is good, tier another tier cash is good, another rhino, they're all good. I mean I don't know if you want both rhinos and if you don't have one in grave. Alright, those are fine. Actually, milling the Karen's good because those are valuable resources for him to be on. Do you go for the Toad setup with the Rhino? Probably because Sully can just search the Clyde anyways. If you if you already have another tier in hand, then you just don't you use the wave effect. But yeah, okay, that looks about right. Does he go Toad SP here? Right, that's pretty pretty good. And you get a, get a trap as well, or you get the the tier cash. You get a mill too. You can also hit something there. I'm assuming that's tier cash, although I can't see. Scream, Rhino, very good. Now, is it ever worth using that Rhino here? Probably not. You just search a trap. If you have meta noise, that'd be fantastic. Solica actually is fine too. Rescue won the the Italian one. Nice. Yeah, let me just get the toad here. Uh, you may as well summon tear cash because you can uh just uh add it back with toad anyways. And there's a good chance you can extend your play. Oh. Oh, did we know we had that? We might have. I just want to draw cards here, if you can. A Chimera, or what do you do? There's Sharon on hand. Oh, does Sharon get app lose it? Is that what happened? He's going to draw two. Okay, I like this. I'm going to clear the Shurig. He's going to need a search of the Shurig, but it's level 2 or lower, so it's not that much of a concern. Right? Or, you know, you just pop the other ones. I, I, you, know, you can't pop the, the island. If you pop the island, yeah. I don't know, only popping one. Just pop Sanctuary, I guess. I don't know. If you pop island, you can pop him hand instead, right? With the Sanctuary and then Rig Runix, so that's bad.
Oh, I used to spin it this way. That's better. Yeah. What is he popping? He just pops sanctuary and then spin the. Uh, gonna pop it. Okay, he's gonna spin the island then. I think Henry's rushing here, trying to search, but you know, Felix is the return player. He gets to resolve his chain links. The Clyde on the planet. Okay. Popping that. And then what does he have? He can send. Heartbeat and then add back Solic. And then, and then if he added better noise, he'd have both traps. And that's fantastic. And then what do you do with the last two monsters here? Do you just pass the way it is? You don't want to. Like putting SP in attack might be kind of dangerous. Oh, Merly. Uh, what does this make? Just the Palio? I guess he just doesn't have, doesn't have Heartbeat in his deck at this point, or doesn't have a Guy Engrave. Oh, he has a King of the Swamp, right? Okay, Rolk is better. Rolk is good. I think probably just good passing here. Setback or a pass. Normal Ponics. I don't know. Do you need to select that? This is no Kieran in hand. You know that, right? Are you gonna? You know, negating Kieran is weird. You wouldn't negate Kieran. Bellet. Okay. Toad. Really? I guess he makes the Pelia now. You shuffle it back, and then you send and shuffle back the Chimera to make Stapelia, right? Yeah. Add back to your cash. So you put Stapelia. No, it doesn't matter. You shuffle back Chimera. Okay. Why did Salak go? He, uh... Did he rock something? Arkin can't win in time, right? I'm unsure. Yeah, I just can see there. I'm pretty sure Felix had that game either way. I think that Revolt really cost him. It was, it was eager. German strongest. I, yeah, I did not think the deck was dead. I think people were really over uh, over exaggerating how big the Miller hits were. There were games you lose the deck where they just never even saw them. Um, anyways, yeah, that's it, guys. Tournament's done. Uh, we've been live for about five hours. So one last shameless plug where if you want to support the channel, go follow. Make sure because I'll be live every single day this week probably or the next week. And send a sub if you can. Prime is free, right? Um, otherwise, I'll find some of you guys to host, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace.